So welcome everyone back to the titillating terror known as the Tom Time. Um, we are going to roll off our alliteration based on things that were spoken but not recorded due to a particular person who shall remain unnamed. And we are going to burst forward into the, oh, that's a good one. Um, and we are going to enter back into the fray. Um, our, our dastardly denizens of the dark, our terrifying Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out the alliteration because I'm just gonna lose my track the entire session. <laughs> or you, um, you can write this beforehand. Yeah, I, I did actually. There's various options here. Uh, our compatriots here, our terrifying twosomes, multiple plus one, have recently defeated a Hydra that almost completely obliterated them. Um, sort of, kind of. They did a pretty good job because um, we discovered that Hydras are actually very easy for low-level characters because if you do more damage, they're harder, which is very strange and paradoxical. They are now within the confines of what seems to be an alchemist tower. Um, when we left off last session, they were searching through its tattered remnants in a big attempt to bolster their pockets. Um, I believe we haven't done any perception checks or anything of that nature to kind of loot the place. Um, feel free to roll perception. And after we go through this, um, you will find yourselves with a mysterious guest. You a distant me? man. Can you roll me perception? Just mm -hmm. borrow some dice. Uh, oh. Cole? Uh, top drawer? I thought we were doing everything on top drawer. Line. Oh, top drawer? Yeah, right. Just take, just take your thing. Yeah, don't. Um, give me whatever. I don't see it. Oh, here we go. Do you have a preference between spin downs and regular die or not? Nice. <laughs> Here's a spin down. As a uh, tell me if anyone beats a 20 in perception. Okay, of course. <laughs> Who are you so wise and amazing looking at things? <laughs> I've been staring at this rock. It is not a rock. Monk wisdom. Ooh, I got a nat one. I stare at wow. the object that you're staring at. What is it? I have 14. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, for some strange reason, is bewildered by a particular rock in the corner of this room that was knocked over by the Hydra. Um, after a very exhaustive determination based on prior experiences and the inner wisdom of the self, you determine that it is just a rock. Um, <laughs> um, Maya here, and... He might be tripping. He might be saying something different. That's true. What is in your flag in Eiffel? Uh, today, I'm going with sparkling rum. Oh, yeah. Ew. I looked it up. It's a real thing. <laughs> oh yeah. That sounds horrible. You, you're just looking over like Bo Mr. Boston's Guide to Bartending, so you can get the character. Sparkling mango rum. Let's go. Okay. That doesn't sound too cool. Orla, what did you roll for perception, dear? I was actually intentionally not rolling. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I um, can see Maya, that, but I at least look around half-assedly. Okay. Maya and Nebu, um, while you are parsing through the confines of the tower, you find a few relatively noteworthy items. Um, there seems to be a single mushroom on one of the tables in the lower level. Um, if you wish to parse it further, you are welcome to a roll of nature. Um, there's a kind of fine powder in the nearby ground stone, and the area is littered with small garnets. Um, they're worthless, technically, but they can be used for enchantment purposes. Um, if you go up to the secondary level, it will require another perception check. However, before you can start going up the staircase, peering through the crack of the wall, you notice a figure skulking outside. And I imagine that this figure and yourself notice that you notice one another, and you may enter the scene. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing other than just being like... Did you say that we had a long rest since the fight with the Hydra? Or is you it me? We have to manage it after this, yeah. Technically, yeah. Well, yeah, we haven't have yet. Not yet. Not okay. yet. Cool. I'm going to manage it up. Okay. I had one idea was perfect. I am asleep. All right, Miro, what do you do to enter the scene? I was suspicious yeah. weirdo. Oh, he's just uh, in the fight. Sitting yeah, down right now. Like two okay. or something. He's watching. Some other people did. Because, I mean, well, well, I, I don't think I got no. hit. You were a member of the Tom Time. You were supposed to get on the carrier. Learned man, which did not get hit. Come over here. We have um, strange mushrooms to ex explore. You find the carriage, you wound your way uh -huh. up north where you discovered it's a record that Omni Man. Man. Was like, think, play. <laughs> if you walk up next to the Hydra, you're going to get high again. Yeah, okay. Nabu and Maya, you notice that. That's hard. What? No way. 
A nat 20? <laughs> That's a 29. Dude, okay. Metal music you notice a creature yeah, outside. Uh, I noticed. I like, noticed. Uh, um, but it disappears into the aether. I love um, how it tells me the artist when what it's do you, the dope artist also. To be what like, do you interpret? Run the jewels starts playing. <laughs> of this situation, Abu and Maya. Also, I'm positive. I guess it doesn't matter. We're not really using it. Learn, man. Come over here. Hydra appears to still be alive. Womp, 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 womp. Also, I run over. <laughs> also, we have strange powder and mushrooms to explore. <laughs> womp, 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 what? <laughs> like, I point out strange powder, point out a uh, strange mushroom, point I out my head moved. forward, like, um, looking at it two inches from my massive head. What do I see? The, the mushroom? <laughs> I forgot about the big head. <coughs> so, what is this from my massive head? What do I see staring at this mushroom? Okay, give me a nature check. Does he get a perception bonus because, like, his ears and eyes are bigger? I, I kind of. I, <laughs> or, is kinda like, or is it just like a fish eye distortion of what's going on? Maybe. I'm tempted to just go out of the way. What did you get there? Well, I have expertise in nature, but I definitely done goofed it up. <laughs> uh, that's an eight total. Ouch. <laughs> You look at the mushroom and you take a deep breath of the mushroom and the spores cause you to have a brief spasm and due to the force of the sneeze exiting your head, you fall backwards. Uh, <laughs> mango sparkling rum flies everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> where, where is this happening? Uh, I'm next to uh, Ken's on character. The, on the stairs? Can, I'm, I think, move me down next to Ken. Oh, we're down below. Okay. Yeah, because I think it's on the ground, right? you got to uh, unpause it. Oh, yeah, here, pardon me. Let me unpause it. <coughs> there you go. Now you can stick around. Pretty sure it's there. And it's a spray. Yeah. Oh. Uh, a fine mist of sparkling rum bathes the area. Um, I'm going to need everyone to make a deck save. Oh, uh, The DC is, is um, I guess, 10. Let's go 10. I'm uh, good. All right, good, good. You managed to dodge cool. the mist, the... Thick torrent. Um, Orla, oh wait, Orla dodged mine. Dodged. Uh, I'm gonna be like right. I got a twelve. Corner, so you got a twelve. Oh, uh, yeah. that's close enough. Uh, uh, I feel like my enhanced form has interrupted my blood alcohol <laughs> content. <coughs> hmm. Should rectify that. I attempt, but I literally can't on the ground put my flask to my face because of my <laughs> head set up. I will, like, assist him, like, <laughs> 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 I just sit and let my mouth open as I gurgle drink it. <sighs> this is every session. Uh, so, <laughs> Nabu assists Eiffel in imbibing in order to bring themselves closer to God in a way that their God themselves is actually bewildered by, as you see a faint image of them frowning in you in the corner of your horribly distorted form. Um, as you write yourself, um, yet again, there is also Maya and Nabu. The, the feeling, especially Maya, who got on that 20, that there is something outside. Um, it seems to have gone missing, but you are quite aware that there is a creature or something outside of this tower watching you. I'm going to draw my rapier and walk outside and kind of like look around. Okay, let's see. Uh, go ahead and just move yourself. Um, Myro, <laughs> where are you at present? Are you right where you are? I'm like around the corner, but you'd have to roll perception to find me. All right, let's do. Um, I guess the stealth is still face twenty nine. Uh -huh. uh, then go ahead and roll perception. Oh wait, you can't beat it actually. No, that's it's impossible. An insane number. <laughs> uh, Maya, you go around and you look around and you notice what seems to be a faint, a faint set of imprints and an indent, um, but it seems that whatever the creature was, its subsequent movements were done more tactfully and its traces disappeared. Hmm. Um, you can't help but shake the feeling that there's something watching you, but for the time being, it seems to have evaded your gaze. Is the mango rum flammable? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually very <coughs> flammable. It, it, it is heavily alcoholic. Okay. Shall we uh, molotov the area to be safe? I, oh God. I was just thinking we could move on. I don't think we need to firebomb this tower. But it could be the Hydra's, like, like one of the Hydra's head has come back to try and kill us. Because there's no way that, like, us scrubs could have easily killed one. I'm going to walk over to the uh, Hydra and kind of, like, kick one of its heads. And be like, Jeez. nope, it's, it seems pretty dead. The head turns over what seems to be a death rattle of the belch before slumping to the ground, like, 
Oh, okay. When it lets out a belch, like <laughs> Maya jumps back All and like, falls me. on her butt. <laughs> she was knocked down once or twice by this thing, so <laughs> the Hydra's body that was kind of precariously propped against the building slopes over and kind of just falls to the ground. Venom starts to pour out and kind of seep into the ground. I was sleeping on that. Hydra? You're still in the tower, right? Yeah. Now, um, there is a second level, and there is still the mushroom, which has yet to be identified because somebody has an excessively large cranium that has nothing in it. <laughs> um, does anyone else wish to investigate the mushroom, or do we want to go to the upper level? Go ahead, Maya, you may roll nature. Um, I think last session, like, I went up to the upper level and found something up there, if you remember the conversation. Oh, yeah, we had that thing. Let's just do a little rehash really quick while we do it. Sure. Oh. oh, wow. Oh. Uh, so, Maya, um, buddy, uh, you look at the mushroom, and this is this is in character with Maya, but it's extremely out of character for Cole. Uh, you have no idea what this mushroom is. <laughs> Can I use medicine to make a truck against it? I will allow medicine. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm going <laughs> to... Eight, eight total. God, the DC is so low! <laughs> right. So, I hear them all discussing and arguing over what this mushroom is. Everyone's just Do I have any kind of advantage about knowing what a mushroom is because of being a cook? A, cook, a good cook. I will allow you to roll with advantage. Okay, I will grumbly, I, I will grumble and curse and stomp my way up the fucking stairs because I'm trying to go to sleep and you all won't shut the fuck up about a mushroom. Uh, what check would you like me to make, sir? Uh, whatever you believe is appropriate, you may use your cooking tools. I will allow your cooking tools. Okay, so I can add my proficiency modifier. Yes. Okay. And I believe cooking tools is intelligence. Let me double check. Oh god, please let me... Well, I right. assume it would be wisdom, but... <clears throat> yeah, I was yeah. going to make a survival check, but... I, or survival a, a, a wisdom check with the tools. I was that... Right Wisdom? Okay. Yep. Which is... Actually, intelligence would be better. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Shit. <clears throat> Still wisdom? Yep. Cool. Okay. So, whatever my proficiency bonus is. Two. Uh, you done goofed it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an, it's an eight. <laughs> Wait. No, it's an eight, right? Oh, do I have advantage? Did you yeah, have you advantage? Said advantage. Hey, fucking God. Oh, there you go. That's much better. That's, like a, that's a 15. <laughs> 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 so, our, our, our guest. It's been affected by the Eldritch Storm. It looks yeah, really the storm. I recognize it, but it looks weird. It's, a, it's a weird today. There's clouds, you know. It, just, it, throws, it throws off your humor. And it's like some mango rum on it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's discolored because of the mango rum. It's like just like drying up from the high alcohol content. <laughs> okay, I just PM'd you what it is. You are welcome to read that aloud. Okay. Okay, let me read it so I can... Ah, it's rare. Okay, so the first thing is don't touch that unless you have gloves on. It's a mushroom that comes from the Underdark and you can brew it into a tea that gives you double movement for 2d6 minutes. So it's called a blur root. So is this a medicinal mushroom or is this like a cooking mushroom? It's a tea. It's it's specifically it's the only the only it's medicinal. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The only, I, the only use I know of it of for it is uh, to put it in tea to give you double movement. So what happens if fast. you were to make a stew from it? Uh, you can't even eat stew. I imagine I imagine it would uh, it would dilute the, those effects because you've got all kinds of other ingredients in there. So it would taste like you were, it would taste very fast, hmm. but it would not make you very fast. <coughs> Interesting. Someone have gloves on? We could use that. Um, Is, do I, could, I have enough of a sample to make tea out of? Uh, or like I could use force arms to hold it and manipulate it. I can, have, <coughs> would my poisoner's kit be able to be used for it? All right, I'm gonna use my poisoner's kit. All right, go ahead and make a poisoner's kit roll. So pretty much that just a, Is that just like a intelligence roll? I mean, you, you literally just need kit. gloves. Just click the poisoner's <coughs> kit and click it. Okay. You yeah. should just do it. I think I already said it right. an intelligence roll for you. Yeah. 
Um, the DC here is low, so we're seeing if you roll a one. Okay, well, you're fine. Uh, Small, yeah. light green, and sticky cap. You take it out. But the stem is really long. You plop it into a little vial, and it has been securely taken away. Oh, uh, mute your Discord notifications, by the way. No. I'll just mute my phone. Also, I have had a character I did on the poisoner's kit. <laughs> I'm gonna throw all my stuff into the ocean. Just like, oh, oh no! Just as you die. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you just see me diving after it. Like, gonna, we're gonna be battling on top yeah. of Mountain Doom, and I'm like, wait. And then I'm gonna throw myself in the volcano. Uh, and so I'll slowly sink to the ground. Like, uh, so. What was your mother's main don't name worry, and I'm first path? <laughs> Okay, guys, throw him into the portal. Yeah, don't get him into the portal. Yeet. <laughs> you and Steven, you're going to be poised over him like, I'm just, I'm just going to miss my mother Martha so much. <laughs> Martha? <laughs> How do you know that name? So, anyway, um, back back to the gambit. Um, right. There's still an upstairs. Uh, do we wish to explore the upstairs? Have I ever told you what I call the ending of that movie? What? A Deus Ex Martha. Ah. God, I hate you, dumb. So, <laughs> do we want to go upstairs? Do we all wish to skulk upstairs and investigate? Yes. We have the silver powder. You have the silver powder. Now, are we all going upstairs and investigate? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to drag you all upstairs. I go upstairs, but I don't really investigate it. I give it like a half eyed look. I mean, maybe you can. I love how slowly people drag across. <laughs> so, you go upstairs, and here are the immediate things you know. Um, there is a small red journal tucked underneath the grindstone. Bam, I pick it up. Okay, you pick it up. Um, you give a cursory examination. The initial pages um, give me perception. Um, there is a single locked chest, and there seems to be several other notes in an unknown language littered around the room. I get to work on that chest. Uh, 17 perception. I'm by you while you work on the chest in case of the mimic that tries to bite you off. God, that'd be pretty funny. I um, will. Uh, you didn't? I'm so uh, surprised. Uh, I just, just, oh, yeah, you're right. I, I just wanted to know that. I don't worry. Uh, it could, I mean, it's a cantrip. Yeah, okay. So, uh, these tools on the chest. Yeah. Uh, you notice the chest seems to have some kind of timing mechanism on it. But, 21, you managed to bypass the timing mechanism and open it up. And in the interior, you see three superior healing potions. And another random book. I'll take two of the potions. Okay. Who is taking the final superior healing potion? Uh, I will. Okay. I uh, will uh, start looking at the book upside down. Okay. I've already been looking at the book! And I pulled the book away. <laughs> I will continue to look at the book upside down because you're looking at the book the right way up. Here, one of you take read this book, and Maya will also hand you um, the book. While a lot of you are arguing upstairs, you hear a kind of rumbling, shifting of the earth sound, and the tower seems to kind of shake for a brief moment, and then there's stillness. It sounded like something very large moved downstairs. Firebomb the bottom? Hell drop, hell drop. Um... <laughs> uh, do you have a, do you have like kindling? And then I open my flask. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should, did we bring a torch upstairs? Um, I believe a lot of you, you actually, I believe Orla actually has a um, mess kit which comes with tinder. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure box. I have a mess kit as well. I think uh, sure yeah, I have a tinder box too, so. Yes. Oh, Orla, remember to add your cook's tools. Can you do that? Yes, you I just did that. Tease. I forgot. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? You heard a large rumble downstairs. You're in the possession of two journals. So if we burn down this tower from up here, we are going to die. Oh, yes. Maybe, maybe you guys are. I, I can jump off and probably be okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have 40 hit points, for man. I don't care how tall this tower is. I got a good shot at living somehow. I don't. Wow. Oh. Because until we sleep, I have like, We haven't slept, so you have not. We have not rested. Wow, man, I'm doing real good over here with my HP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what mine exactly was. I know it was really, really bad. Yeah. No, um, you got beat the hell up by that. Man. Like I'm at like probably like two, one or two of the points as well. Same. Yeah. So let's just let's go down. 
See if we can scare this, whatever uh, this is, away. You're at nine. I think you're at seven. Uh, go ahead and orient yourself in order like who is going first in line. Because I healed you guys for X amount. I hate uh, damage sponge. Want to go first? Oh, sure. And then I go downstairs <laughs> with this book that I'm still visibly reading. <laughs> you're like, yeah, okay. Resisting the urge to put um, you, so you go downstairs. Do you stop reading the book in order to actually look at the room? <laughs> well, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, can like, I form a perception size check size with disadvantage for the room? <laughs> go ahead. I'll also go downstairs, but like with my Why do I have 2,500 copper Okay, that's not one. I'm actually in control of the book right now. Uh, uh, the book is in a language you can identify. Copper. Copper. Oh, so we're not, we're not doing it. No, it's just like whatever. Like, it's it's some kind of pattern here that introduces me. But you do find one noteworthy thing in the book. There's a single page in Coen. Um, which I do not remember if you can read, but you do identify that language. But the other parts of the book, you have no idea. Um, now, Naboo, you go downstairs, and you immediately apprehend, because you're not an idiot, you can spoke <laughs> uh, that there is an enormous wall of earth that has closed off the entrance into the town. Hey, that. Hmm, I don't think this was here previously. <laughs> it is not. Uh, you reach the very astute conclusion based on your meditation and uh, dedication to asceticism that the, that wall of earth was not there a few moments ago. I'm gonna punch it. You punch it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, give me an attack roll. With uh, advantage, because it's a giant wall of earth. Uh, uh, honest to God. A, there should be like an, uh, go to inventory, and go to force arms. Cause I actually coded it, and just yet roll. Wow, not bad. You. Definitely just, you know, kind of like give them the left hook, give them the right hook. Obviously, it's a wall of dirt. Um, I don't know why you're putting this much effort into it. Um, <laughs> you definitely knock the wall over, and then behind you, you see a person with a shield aiming a crossbow right at your face. Uh, hey, be quiet! I'm, I'm trying like to... 100 feet off. Okay. <laughs> give me a perception check. Uh, awesome. uh, okay. <laughs> no fucking way. Did you get a 20 again? <laughs> <laughs> I got like a 10. Oh, <laughs> totally. Your dice are rigged. <laughs> I'll, I'll roll a different one. The roll again. Roll again. I'm really suspicious about this. Yeah. Okay, no. there we go. All right. Dice aren't rigged. You're just lucky. Yeah. Um, just happened to get two you, in a row. You get, you uh, uh, canvas the saw hole that you've made in the mound as it falls over, exposing the exterior of the tower. And as you kind of glance outwards, you see nothing that pops. Nothing <clears> that seems to indicate as to what this is. Be Here. quiet. Trying to get to the good parts. We shall definitely leave. This is not right. I mean, this is a very weird tower. Could be weird tower towers like, you know, rooting itself. So it can become like a proper tower tree. I don't think that's uh, a thing. Is that a thing? Does anybody else know if that's a thing? Uh, uh, can I roll for tower tree? Yeah, you can roll history to determine if not who is saying something is accurate. I'm gonna roll history. That was an eleven. Okay, uh, Nabu, you, uh, you got a three. <laughs> you don't know enough about tower trees to refute this. <laughs> so, Nabu has made an escape. You are in possession of two superior healing potions. Who picked up the third? If nobody picks up the third, I'll just take uh, it. Cole's character did, picked did up. Pick Sorry, up not Cole's. Uh, oh, Coleman's. Yeah. Uh, you're the one you said it, so you take it. So, Orla has one. Yeah. Maya has two. Mm -hmm. um, our compatriot here, a uh, cranium lord, has <laughs> one book. And there's also another uh, single page of a journal, a, a, a red journal that you also picked up too. So you have the red journal and the book inside the... Uh, is it too late to change my character's name to Brainiac? <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about this. You can pick up a code name later if you wish. Now. Okay, so have we found out what that rumbling is yet? Have we looked down back to the first floor? Um, give me an Arcana check, or Perception on us. Okay. All right. Do you want Arcana or Perception? Should I do a roll another Perception check? Or? Um, if you wish, you've determined and ascertained that there is a large earth wall. If you wish to ascertain why it's there, oh, you okay. may roll it down. Can you tell me to make a perception check? Yeah, if you want. 18. No. Okay. Uh, we got above like a 15. Oh, I need to roll my perception. No. No. Nope. Well, this is how you uh, those skill uh, checks. Hold on. Right. I'm going to do a big break thing, and I'm what? going to cast Identify <coughs> on the book. 
on the book? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get back to you in a moment. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what we have here. Now, Orla, you determined that the earth was moved um, using the, and I hope you are seated, the mold earth cantrip. Um, and that is why it appeared so suddenly and why the emotion was not uh, terribly catastrophic. Um, you can tell that it's fresh, obviously, and the person is probably still nearby. It's not a very long range on this cantrip. Mm -hmm. Is this on the, the bottom floor that's, that we're looking at this wall? Yeah, so like the wall that's of earth now. was put over the front entrance of the tower, blocking it until Nabu and the infinite okay, intelligence so punched were, it a lot. They were closing us in. Yeah, they were boxing you in. You make that reason. You could not in. see him. No, from no, outside no. Of it. no. They get okay. fucking that twenty on this goddamn. All right, <laughs> let's just fucking go to sleep and keep an eye out for whoever's doing this. I refuse to because sleep. they obviously don't. If they would, if they got this close, they they you know would have tried to kill us. I'm firmly believing my uh, tree tower theory. <laughs> sure. Can we all <laughs> sleep, please? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I I'm stay gonna tell, up I, I, all I, night reading the gibberish text. Uh, all right. Wait, uh, are we sleeping in the tower? Apparently. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> well, whoever they were, they they want to keep us trapped here. Yeah, but it's like a. And if we leave, they're probably going to just. journey back to our caravan. Let's just go there. Okay. I, it just seems like a bad idea that like there's clearly someone trying to trap us in the tower and we're just like that's cool. Either way, <laughs> either way it gets us to a confrontation faster. So what? Uh, Think about it. All right. If they're trying to trap us in here, then obviously they assumed we tried to escape. They're fucking with us, <laughs> or they're afraid of us. Or so either we ignore them till they go away, or we walk out and allow them to face us. And deal with this. I, I make a polite declaration. We have booze! How do you respond? <laughs> with silence. <laughs> <laughs> Not a booze, I man! Will, I will follow your lead, man. <laughs> I don't have much health, and I don't want to use the superior healing potion, but. Oh, no, me neither. I will back you up. <laughs> because just, if we go out there, either they're going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eiffel, I'm going to text you what you discovered. Or it's a very take a short rest. I'm going to send it to you on Discord. All right. All right uh, you're welcome to take a short rest. Who is going to take watch? Is it going to be Eiffel taking watch? Yeah, uh, he's got the most HP. Yes. Okay. Eiffel takes watch. <laughs> it was just Orla taking command of the whole situation. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut up, you are taking watch. I, I only intended to take the watch. And they're watching as I, I read the book. The book. Yeah. AKA not paying attention. <laughs> you know, if I really had malicious intent, y'all would be dead. If you really <laughs> had malicious intent, why you would have to deal with a 20 wisdom cleric. And all of his zero spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> See, or Orla gets that. Okay. That's why she's like, you know what? If they wanted to kill us, they could kill us. We are uh -huh. fucking spent. 100%. That's fair. Okay. So let's just go to sleep. And if they want to talk, they'll come talk. Otherwise, if they want to fight, we'll be more ready to fight them. Okay, that sounds good. We can go rest then. Yeah, that's wrong rest. You're right. Who's taking first watch? Who's taking first watch here? It's gonna be out If you guys are doing long, okay. No, I'm literally the whole watch. I'm no, not. He, he's gonna stay up the whole oh time. Oh god, okay. Because he's he pulled out he pulled out his special his special Adderall. <laughs> uh, it's not my special Adderall. It's my daily Adderall. <laughs> my daily Adderall. <laughs> Your daily. Hmm. Or we'll take last watch. Maya will take second to last. I guess middle then. So there's only three watch slots, right? Yes. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, four, actually. I'll take the last one. Oh, wait. Eight hours, hours of sleep. sleep. Yeah, two hours each. Well, no, it's six hours of sleep. So you, got you only have to get six hours of sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Eiffel, you have just uncovered the wisdom within this book I by casting Identify. I might do that if I'm in the woods for months at a time. It but is written in. However, there is one page that apparently someone painstakingly translated that is in Colleen, which will be easier to translate than its original language. You know that I can read that. You're aware that Orla speaks Colleen and reads Colleen, so you can simply uh, have them translate it. Uh, <clears throat> oh my god. I want to know. I'm terrified. 
I need to know! But the fear. <laughs> um. I have Roll me perception. Now, my good compatriot, Mira, what are you doing while I fall? Is obviously with this enormous crane and frustrated oh, over this, this one? I'm doing nothing. <laughs> just shoot an arrow right there. 11. I'm, I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone else. Are you perfect? No. 14. That was a 9 out of 6. Although, I guess they're going to be awake the whole time, so they'll see me eventually. <laughs> Not right, during roll, this lunch. <laughs> roll stealth again, uh, Mira. Are you still yeah. Is it a 20 again? No, it's an 18. 18. <laughs> um, you know, it's not detected. I follow your watch. It goes, goes by. Uneventful. You read your book. Um, there's also another uh, very particular set of journals that are also translated into Colleen as well. But there is simply a page also translated from that as well. You will have to ask Orla to translate it unless you have comprehend languages. I mean, I guess I'm going to be the scholastic book club here and pick up any number of books I see lying around. <laughs> put them in a satchel. Um, uh, you kind of pace around the tower um, and note that there seems to be nothing else of value. Um, you have the journal um, that you found um, under the grindstone, and you also have the book that you discovered within the chest, and there is also the mushroom, which has been disposed of within uh, Maya's uh, poisoner's kit. Um, your event, your your watch goes by without event. Um, aside from your frustrations over these texts, whose <coughs> mysteries elude you, um, you may now awake your second watch. <coughs> oh no. I don't know why people wanted me to switch watches. I said I'd stay up. Uh, even on. Even? Nah, I don't. You can choose not to wake anyone up. I choose not to wake them up. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what happened last time? I don't. <laughs> you know, you're pretty sloshed. Um, so, I fold, you may make another perception check. And, you know, you may make another stealth check. Oh. What did you get? What did you get? McTen. <laughs> 12 on 9. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you and your expertise. So, yet again, your watch uh, goes by. Um, while staring at the language, um, you are frustrated and you start to attempt, I suppose, to decipher the Elvish. You may make an arcana check. Um, that's 21. Which one would you want to parse? The alchemical text or what seems to be somebody's private journal? I want the tea, bitch. Okay. You start looking at the alchemical text and using your math, uh, your knowledge of the arcane, you start to tease that there's like a bit of a, almost like an illusion upon the book. Uh, so you kind of parse through it. And you can tell that technically, if you were to figure out how the book is written, you would be able to tease it into another language that you're going to translate it all at once. But it's probably going to take a little bit more study. I see how you interpreted my phrase. I meant the opposite because what? the the T as in the politi the interest, the discourse. Oh, okay. So but you meant the private but journal. No, no, but I, I will go with what you said because you've already said it, I'm sure. <laughs> So you uh, examine the text and realize that perhaps a little bit more chicanery, maybe um, um, something to kind of cast aside the illusion that's over the book. You would probably be able to translate it entirely from uh, the language that it is presently in into something a little bit more legible. OK, it is time for the third watch. Are you going to rouse them? No, that's odd. Is there any kind of check he can make to just... Never mind, I don't need to introduce that. My DM just, muscles are flexing. I don't need to shut the fuck up. Just uh, continue through the night. Uh, give me a con check, actually. Yeah, uh, that's a 19. <laughs> you sit there for a moment, and you're thinking... 18. Oh, boy, I'm getting trousy. And then you think, yeah, hey, look at that. And then you think, oh, you know, it would be really great. Some nice seed coffee liqueur. Um, you think around, it's like, I wonder who has that. You look at Orla, <laughs> and you think, no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, if only there's some kind of god that would And then you reach into your breastplate, you feel a strange perturbance, you remove it, and there is a bottle of the seed of coffee liqueur, 
and there is a there is a scroll on the um, exterior and Celestial saying, you owe me. I, just, I, look, at it, I look at it, First time dip my massive it. head solemnly forward <laughs> and say, the Lord provides. <laughs> and take a swig. Oh, God, it's mocha. He knows I hate mocha. <laughs> Real life, Dylan likes mocha. Apparently, I'm some kind of caramel bitch in this world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me another perception check. It is time for the final launch. This is a 15, motherfucker. 18. <laughs> Why do you like this? I have my best perception in the group. I have a plus five. What's yours? I have oh, a, not a plus five. I have a plus nine. This you and you I were tied, I think. How do you no, have a plus, plus four? Oh, Jeez. yeah. Because I took the stealthy Eldritch Invocation that he has in his thing, which gives me fresh. I, I have a question. Do, I, do I think shit's up? I think shit's huh? up, right? You have Homebrew Eldritch Invocation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know about this. I, I, document if you want. I, I think shit's up. Yeah, right? under the boondism. So, and I have my so flash, which I normally use as my material yeah, podcast. Can I get guidance on this one? Yes. That is a 17. No, Just, no still no. <laughs> that was an 18. <laughs> that was a 9 plus 9. You look at you look at the flag and you're like, why do your mysteries elude me? <laughs> now... <laughs> Uh, so that's going to come in if you would look at The sun starts to peter over the horizon. I, I have one last act. Okay, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, does Maya seem to be especially asleep? Maya, give me a con say with advantage. All right. Uh, ooh, with advantage. Yeah, and uh, that just determines how sleepy you are. Uh, that's 23. Let's see if you manage to do that. All right, uh, they are 23 sleepy. So what, what would you like to do? They're, they're, they're in the thick of it. They're very... I mean, to be fair, I almost have died. They are. Um, so they I just attempt to put the like the I O U thing, the you owe me thing, in their person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll a sleight of hand with advantage. No. What did you get? I'm gonna wake them up. Uh, that was a ten. What do I roll to contest that? Uh, I guess a con save, technically. Okay. Or perception? Yeah, do perception. perception. Do perception. perception. Okay, you... With advantage or disadvantage? Right? Probably disadvantage. Disadvantage, because you're, you're asleep. Oh, jeez, you are probably... Yeah, you're going to get away with it then. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> did I get away with it? Yeah, you did. It was a five and a four. Uh, you slip it in there, and you hear them kind of grumble going, Hey, don't dodge the dagger. You're going to die. Uh, I was better, <laughs> better you than me. You slip it in there, and then they kind of roll over on themselves, and you hear a faint crunch sound. You're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> um, the rest of the the rest of your watch passes by um, without events. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know what your goal is, sneak man. I don't know what your fucking game is. I was gonna come talk to y'all if someone was awake because they're of the same race as me. It's like, hey, I didn't know this. I didn't mean to derail your whole thing. Oh, oh you talked about this character. No, this is hilarious. I'm loving so it. So anyway, to stay hidden. Everyone wakes up. Um, as you are all accustomed to, Eiffel is faintly buzzed. There's this kind of weird stench kind of permeating to the area. Maya, the front of your chest is covered in um, glass in your cut, and you don't know why. <laughs> One exhaust. <laughs> it's slightly sticky because it was a liqueur. Uh. You peel off a piece of paper, which is in Alfurian, which says, you owe me. Like, do you read Alfurian? Uh, it was in Celestial. I don't it I, was in Celestial, so... I, I definitely don't understand Celestial. Okay, you look at the piece of paper, and it's like, this is very pleasant to look at, but I have no idea why this is here. <laughs> and you're slathered in glass, it's very confusing, it, it smells smell like... smell like booze? It smells like coffee alcohol, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> so, uh, to, those, to those listening at home, Maya has leaned in and rather point poignantly stared at Eiffel because of a booze-related incident. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last night, and why am I covered in coffee liqueur? What I assume is coffee liqueur. Please let it be coffee liqueur. <laughs> that is it coffee, like liqueur. coffee liqueur. <laughs> it's something else, I swear. <laughs> I have a question for you. Would you rather not know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would rather know. Oh, um, quite fascinating, actually. Um, I'm going to lie. <laughs> I would prefer you didn't. Okay, I'll try this again. Um, <laughs> basically, I didn't want to wake you up, 
And I figured... I don't know what I was planning, <laughs> but I definitely didn't want that note. This note? Yes. Okay, well, here you go. No! I have to accept it! <laughs> and... You notice that the, at the bottom of it, it had nothing on there, but you see uh, a, there was like a single line, like a tally mark, and there's now another tally mark that's been added onto it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, here, one minute, I'm going to pause the recording really quick. All right, we are back from a... Um, a very brief break where we discuss, um, you know, biblical literature, of course. There's a piss break. The piss break, yes, the piss break. Thank you, Ken. So anyway, um, we're back into the foray. Every press begins with Ken. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have at present is we are all gathered here in the morning. You are, are being hunted by the most dastardly and dangerous <laughs> creature to ever stalk the earth, a Texan. <laughs> I'm Texan. <laughs> I got my big gun, and I'm going to shoot you with it. He's got his Bucky's hat on. He's ready to party. Um, God, can so, we please derail this entire campaign and just have a good and the bad, the ugly story? <laughs> Maybe. I'll think about it. So, so which one of us is the ugly? I think I've lowered charisma. Definitely the guy with the giant head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Eiffel. It's Eiffel. I have a charisma okay. of seven. So, Orla, Eiffel. Nabu, Maya, uh, you have awoken. Maya, you have unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, determined why your chest is covered in coffee <laughs> glass shrapnel. Eiffel, um, you now realize that you are in deep shit with your god. Um, it's again, not that deep. I, is this the deepest debt I've ever had to my god ever, yes or no? Uh, you know what? I want the backstory where you really drop the ball. We will think about that, and you can bring it up later. Okay, I'm going to say that I've been up to seven in debt, and I know that if I get to eight in debt, I die. <laughs> Actually, I like that. It's, I'm going to work with that. It's All right, so not you only, two right Not now. only is he riddled with substance abuse issues, he's also a gambling addict. Mm. He's like, with this, is, this is great. constantly in debt. Constantly trying to make my that debt. Took up two debts. I hate to see, like... What happens when you need to bring someone back from the dead or something? Or when you actually fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed that you got a bunch of people sober. Um, that's three strikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, I'm going to, once I wake up and yes, see this stuff going on, um, I'm going to grab a little bit of tack out of my rations and start munching on it, and I'm going to walk out the front door, scratching my leg and my ass, um, and call whoever the fuck this is out. 22? I'm not looking for you. I'm looking straight down the road, and I'm just, you're gonna, I'm just, you're just gonna yell, yelling that oh. I'm tired of this bullshit. What do you want? You hear yellow rose of Texas being faintly whistled. <laughs> 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 so uh, you you get no response. I will Nosferatu out of uh, my sleeping arrangements. <laughs> 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 All right, Nabu, you are now awake. Uh, Maya, Eiffel, and Nabu, you hear Orla outside attempting to call to the fray this creature that has been harassing you. Would you like to join in? Would you care to assist? I mean, I'm just going to start, like, thinking of the tower a bit. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me just um, athletics, dexterity, whatever you believe is appropriate. Oh, nice. Mm. And I'm going to move everyone down into the... Oh, it's athletics. Can you already eat? I have a yes. 21. A 21? I believe you start to make some pretty good hard. inroads to making this place actually habitable. And I, I literally have. ripped the page out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> and had to see the page. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's a close-up. <laughs> I want to make a deck save. 22. Days. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> it was actually not like a page that was actually in there. It was like a separate page that some guy had like put over the page that he had translated. So you just tore out a page in this antique book. <laughs> <laughs> no reason. You uh, thought it was attached, so you just pulled it off. My devil vision's really bad this morning. <laughs> it's actually this page. <laughs> So, Orla, you go ahead and read it. I will read it, yes. Uh, <laughs> this is the journal or the alchemical manual? This is the translated page thing in their language that I can't read. Okay. But they can Whichever read page it. was in Coim. Which, by the way, how do you spell that? C-O-E-E-M. E-E-M. I think I called their language Zen, just so it's easier to pronounce. Uh, but anyway, are you, is it the journal 
Or is it the alchemical manual? This is the alchemical manual page okay. that was trained. Um, the alchemical manual page, and I'm just going to rattle this off for you. Um, it tells you how to make the potion that you make from Blur Root. Um, it requires water from Pachin, which is a famous city in the sea territory, famous for its alchemical properties of its water, um, powdered mammoth bones, and uh, Blur Root. You mix it together into a little powder, you kind of fry it a little lightly, and then you mix it with a, a three to one ratio of water, and it gives you a potion of haste. Hmm. Did I just need to take notes for all that, or will you send me that later? Send it to you later. Okay. Actually, cool. I already sent it to. Does my, yeah. does my, um, father control that city? Oh god, I forgot what city you were from. Did you pick your city? No. Okay. We will talk about that at a latter date. But okay. If we can think of a cool reason why you'd be from Pachin, then yes, we can do that. No, I don't mind if I don't care if I'm from it. I just wanted to know if he controls it right now. Uh, give me a spread of twenty numbers on the D one. Okay, 40 to 60. 40 to 60? Okay, if it's between 40 to 60, 20. Uh, where's my... I really appreciate the simplicity of you saying that, because I would have started, like, selecting 20 just random numbers that are non-sequential. Let's see, that is an 8. Is that yeah. an 8? That's an 8. Yeah, yeah he does not. Okay. Well, we cool. can talk later what uh, we can right. discuss. So, my only comment after reading him the recipe is, as far as I know... I'm still allowed in that city, so <laughs> we might be able to retrieve one of those ingredients if we so choose. What ingredients? I can't read it. I just told you the whole recipe. Were you not? Oh, listening? I was not. I had this other book that I needed to hand it to you, and I was reading that, but I can't read it. Can you read this? Perhaps we could read it on. I, I don't right. know. About I'm, I'm going recipe. to go to more the stuff that doesn't involve the mystery man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of the mystery man. <laughs> anything but the plot. Anything but the plot. <laughs> there is a tall hooded figure with a sign that says, please talk to me, I'm <laughs> fancy. Also, there is a bridge with fish on the Look, look, <laughs> fish. Look, I literally called you out and you did nothing. So, I told you my plan. Anyway, I'm going to start walking towards the, the convoy carriage. I'm just going. I'm going to leave all you in the dust. I'm starting to walk. All right, I will, I will wait until everyone else has followed and I will take off the rear. All right, Miro, you see Maya emerge from the tower and begin to walk down the road um, towards Dakma, which is their original destination. I do have And also is your original destination, is Dakma, the Queen City, where the University of Worms is located. Eiffel, Nabu, Orla, are you going to follow suit, or are you going to be incompetent, or are you going to somehow do something that does not fall within those two options? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to see what Ken does. I'm going to see what Ken does. What's Ken do? No, no, no! <laughs> I, I'm watching the both of you, and if you're not leaving right now, I'm going to yell at both of you to leave. <laughs> just, I mean, I'm just gonna like, I'm just like covering the uh, piper blood and like dust and something to like try and like make sure it doesn't like spread. Uh, is you're, being, you're being polite to an abandoned tower. No, no, I'm just like, trying to make sure like the land around it doesn't get polluted with piper blood. Um, I like blood. that. That's very nice. Yeah. Well, that's very cool. I see that Orlite is pissed, and I grab your arm and drag you outside. <laughs> You're just staying. Well, that's like what I was trying to do. No, no, I'm taking a clean up. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna allow you to just do that. Um, Hoping to get something from dangerous. You go around and find like you know wheat and like get sawdust and stuff, kind of spread it around to soak it up. Twenty-four. Um, you actually managed to clamp down the hydro blood that's been kind of pouring out of that creature's body, and um, you actually managed to kind of save the area. It's pretty good. Give yourself inspiration. It's not bad. Nice. I, I I very much appreciate ecological magical conservation. I'm following this. But it's a 24. God damn it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a chance. I have a fucking chance, motherfucker. I, I'm, I'm looking the, for I, you. I'm in the back. I'm, I'm looking for you. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know what, you know what you're like, Ugh. Ugh. It's like slip trigger. Just like the uh, uh, Mandalorian whistle flew in the background somewhere. Do, 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 do. Um, can I just shout out and well? Come out right now. We're tired. We're tired of this. Just come out and roll intimidation. Yeah, go ahead. Do, do that at PC versus PC. What do I roll? Uh, intimidation versus. I don't know. What the hell would resolve be? I guess. Come I mean, it might be just be like a. Might be like a pose intimidation check. Yeah, I do that. Intimidation I mean, versus intimidation. You could also probably just like make, just based off whatever I roll, decide what you want to do. Alright, that was a 22. Maya okay. is very skilled. That's pretty good. Alright. 
Let's see. He takes off his Bucky's hat. He's serious. <laughs> <laughs> or does he turn it backwards? Well, I guess as since like you guys that. are heading the general direction, that now I'm like, okay, well maybe they're the ones I'm supposed to meet up with. Where are you going? We're going to the college of. Wait, where did you come from? Were you like, it's like suddenly he like Maya just hears a bush start. They, you, they could just hear it. Like I'm now. fuck off far away. All right then. So you just, just like so you spend now? What language yeah. are you speaking? I just realized that would be very okay. useful for Yeah, I completely understand you. Blood rage. And I'm kind of Spence. surprised to hear Blood Rage. I can absorb, um, I can absorb damage. Yeah. Oh gosh, what's the why I'm only talking to you. I was gonna like come in in the middle of the night and talk to you because I was like, oh, hey, Blood Duke. Uh, we are going to the. Go to Dhaka. College. Do, do I Dhaka. see you now? What? No. You're going to Dhaka, I'm still the University of War. We're you going just, to Dhaka. You can look in the general direction and try again to see me at this point since I'm talking. Um, but I'm like 100 yards off. No. Wait, that's where I was supposed to meet people, right? Yeah, the, car- the carriage, it was like a little no. bit down the road, maybe like uh, maybe a half mile or something. Alright, so let's see. We'll just say there's a bush decently close to you guys, and after a while, no. you just kind of see well, rustling like through the forest. How did they not die in the storm? But the, the we hid them in holes too. No, they died. <laughs> no, 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 they died. They're dead. They're dead. Some of them, right? Or they're no, they're oh, dead. No, they're no. dead. <laughs> they're all dead. Sat by lightning. <laughs> That's scary. They were outside of the carriage. We didn't shove them into the fucking pit. I tried. Get... No, we didn't try. We did. I did. We did not. We didn't even <laughs> consider it. No, no, there was no way. Was like no I look at the horrid disfigured horse meat that's been irradiated by the universe. What does it look like? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's actually a mechanical horse. Oh, oh. that's right. It's like oh, that's good. Horse. Is yeah. it fine? I, like, touch it. He just it's like that out of his ass. kind of malformed and stuff. The joints <laughs> are kind of, like, fused together. It looks like it got zapped by lightning. And kind of but it's it. fixable. It's fixable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I start to work. Do you have and I take my vodka. Do you have many? Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, no, you to take this. a minute. All right. So, our two Baldukians, how are you going to uh, approach your? Influence? All right. So, yeah, you said that. So then you hear. Huh. Seems you were the ones I was supposed to meet in there after all. And all of a sudden, from behind a tree, a very tall, live for his country, Balduke comes out. And he's almost jet black obsidian. And he has kind of craggy scars up his forearm that are white painted. So, like, you can really see the scars up his forearms kind of in, like, mountain-ish patterns. And he looks to Maya and goes, in common this time, why were you all in the tower? Crash landed. Right. Um, we got bored. We I'm gonna curious. respond in full, dude. Okay. It crashed to the ground, and we were honestly just curious. He'll go back to Voldu. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. What happened to the carriage? It was like fucked on the way. I was supposed to meet up with you all. Yes, there was a uh, ruin storm. I think it was called. Oh, fantastic. Um. Is it called a ruin storm? It's an elder storm. Elder, there was an elder storm. Um, we were stuck in a hole for almost an entire day. Not a fun time. Ah, that does not sound like it would be fun. No. no. Um, but thankfully the cleric seems to be working away at fixing it. Oh. Um, and then we'll be off. Uh, right. Sorry about last night. I just wanted to, um, one, make sure you weren't threats, and two, see how you handled a, <laughs> handled a few obstacles. So still in Volta Kid? Yeah. I'll be honest, kind of a dick move. But, like, <laughs> I, I respect it, I understand it. I don't like it, but I understand. That is fair. I'm not, um, hmm, what you would call a people person. Don't say. <laughs> and then in common, he'll kind of, to the rest of the party, be like, oh, hello. You say you were looking for us. I was looking for the carriage. I failed to notice you. 
You're just, he just out into the sunset. Yeah. Like trying to like shaking the flag and there's this one oh. stubborn. I actually have disadvantage. <laughs> it's worse. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say this alcoholism is bad get treatment get help we will help you in your journey uh, but Eiffel's journey oh, no. towards infinite grace based on debauchery is very fun uh, alright go ahead uh, Miro uh, Maya Eiffel and now Boo what are, you, what are we doing now <laughs> well welcome to our little party it's incredibly dysfunctional I've noticed. And you're going to end up hating everybody who's in this carriage by probably the end of the day. That sounds about right. That's how it's been for me. Fantastic. This isn't Bolder, but take it. No, this isn't. No, it's just not <laughs> <laughs> <That's not> common. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, so, who wants to roll the survival check and figure out where the fuck you have to go next? None of us have survival. None of you are proficient. I will try. Whoever has the highest wisdom, which is the monk, Oh no, he I think kills. I have a high Yeah, the cleric is now edged over. I have disadvantage, so I don't both of you just do it. Guide, can I guide myself? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sure laughs> I'm used to traveling under the ground, not um, you are used oh, to good. one six. Uh that's an eleven because <laughs> I have exhausted and have disadvantage on ability checks. A sixteen and I don't even have it. <laughs> okay, so um Eiffel. You take a swig of your flagon, and you're like, oh, crap. Uh, the backwash. Oh, God, that oh, wasn't God. actually anything. It was just spit. <laughs> um, you stir up at the sky to try to deduce the stars, and maybe maybe like, maybe like the stars will guide you. It's a freakishly cloudy day. Um, you're looking around, and you're like, oh, God. And you kind of start gesticulating your flagon randomly, trying to get some sense of it. Um, while you are gesticulating wildly with your flagon, uh, Miro notices the general area you're just including and sees a sign that says Dachma <laughs> this way. Uh, for um, a brief moment, perhaps he thinks perhaps the cleric is blessed by God. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Look, there's a sign. <laughs> it says the Gilded Grot, 20 miles north, Dachma, 200 miles. I've had that before. It's pretty painful. <laughs> I have no How many miles can we go in a day? Huh? How many miles can we go in a day? There's a really weird rule for it, but um, essentially like when you arrive at the tavern, you'll get your long rest, and then in the morning, another six hours, you'll be at uh, Dock Because you can probably rent horses at the tavern or something. Okay. Right. So it will take us the rest of this day to get to the tavern. Mm -hmm. I okay. guess we walk that way then. Or here we go, travel pace one moment. How's our, how's our, how's our miles and meat? You can go 30 miles in a day. That's not a lot. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, dang. But I mean, like, we had the mechanical horse, right? Yeah, if it's If you wish to spend out. some time, you can fix the mechanical horses. Uh, do we dare to allow this creature to... It's a minute of mending. Yes. Yeah. And also, yeah, we'll, take, we'll take, what, half an hour to see if we can get yeah, it done? Also, like, we 30 minutes it. later of me mending it with exhaustion, what happens? Uh, these horses are gone. Huh? What? You use the term horse, but everyone else seems to understand. You know how, like, you know that pain of, like, this is not a pipe? It's one of those situations. <laughs> like, you could call it a horse. <laughs> it's not really a horse. You manage to get, the, it's like a sleep near situation where you, like, got both of them, like, kind of sewn together at once. They oh, got, like, four pairs of legs. Um, they work. Like a horse. Great. Um, you fix the carriage a little bit, and the carriage is actually back up and running again. Um, it takes about 45 minutes, a lot of swearing, a lot of drinking. Um, you notice everyone else can give me a perception check really quick. Uh, everyone else or me included? 15. No, you're fine. 16. 18. Perception? Yeah. Four. Wow. Everyone except Maya seems to notice that Eiffel seems to be teetering dangerously upon sobriety because of how fervently they are focusing on this carriage. Um, and you look at it, and aside from the one horse being, the two horses being turned into one, the clockwork mechanism seems to be fine. Um, he seems to have dug through the carriage and found the owner's manual for the <laughs> read it. And uh, after determining that he had it upside no, down and back, the guys that read the owner's manual, <laughs> um, fucking nerds. And so <laughs> you run the manual, fix the clockwork oh, horses, so got the carriage up and running, and after going inside, do you have present dissertation? I fart. Do you I, have I, I do. 
You do? I do. Do you remember the, oh wait, I remember, the, the piss bucket in there has it already on there, but the presentation has worn off. The interior of the carriage is not pleasant. <laughs> um, you mount it up and you open the door after it's been kind of soaking in the early morning sun, this giant torrent of superheated <laughs> excrement hits you all at once. What are we going to do with this? It's the last hurdle in order to getting on the carriage. I am climbing on top of the carriage and not caring about it. Uh, I go in. Likewise. I venture forward into danger. Uh, top like, of the carriage. My um, nose is, bold, you, is like many times larger, but I attempt to brave the fumes. Can, I, can I like seal my nose? Show us detail about having a giant head. I His fail. His hairs are all the same. I fail. In, in Bulldog, I say, you know, I could fix that for them. Don't. <laughs> All right, and I climb up top. <laughs> I fall. I fall. I've heard that if you pee in a rag and soak it through, and then use that as a mask, it helps. You should try that. Or the tries not to laugh. Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> Insight. Okay, you don't have to do that. Well, we're just gonna make sure I that, think like, you're the freezer's also awesome, uh, Your roll deception. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want it, you can ask. It was a 19. Yeah. Oh, it was a 16, shit. Okay, yeah. 10. I can I've go, you bit. don't use piss, you use shit. You can't trick me. <laughs> um, I have you go in there. The refrigerator um, is still working, although um, the meat has splattered on the other side of the carriage. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. So the meat's been out of the refrigerator? Uh, it seems to, when he righted the carriage, it fell out, so it's been fine. So we're I'm just throwing it, it out. The so food. it's so it's no good. Now it's covered in urine. Now, <laughs> it's, covered now it's covered in, in shit. Okay. If someone has pressed the digitation, I'm fix so this. glad I'm not. I'm not going to eat meat after <laughs> even if somebody <laughs> pressed it. You know, that's it's been sitting out me. for yeah, that's hundred percent more than twenty four hours. <laughs> so anyway, the pressed digitation doesn't get rid of rancidness. <laughs> Does not. So the sleep near horses, the horse starts... I'm sad. Meat. I was going to use... I'm sorry, Ian. I don't mean to keep interrupting. I was going to use that meat to buy us rooms at the end. It's not rancid. It's, not, it's it. not rancid. It just needs to be pressed as you did it. Like, when he rattled oh, it's just, when he it's rattled just gross. It, it broke open. It's, it's only gross. Like a half oh, half. It's my bad. Gross. I'm it's sorry. I, I misunderstood. It's just five-second rule. Yeah, five-second rule. Five-second okay. rule to a piss <laughs> <five. laughs> <laughs> So, what kind of animals? What 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 meat was it? It's it was a giant uh, okay. constrictor. No, it's it was a giant, a constrictor, giant constrictor, and it was also wolf meat. Yeah, did wolf, you also get any hydro meat? No, no, uh, uh, we didn't get any hydro meat. Mm, poisonous. Shame. So anyway, That's all fun. of you are on top of the roof as you are going down <laughs> this beautiful um, this beautiful way. Um, it starts to get cold. Snow begins to flutter down on the landscape. An hour in, I'm going to bang on the side of the carriage and remind. Are you in the carriage, or you want I'm to? I'm in the carriage. In the, I'm going to remind you to put that meat back in the refrigerator, just to make sure that it's said out loud, so you don't do it. You're just like squirrel. disgusting, sloshing and slipping sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to want that meat back. We can just catch more on the way. Right. Like, oh god, you hear like apple. Oh god, it's in my mouth. It's. In my pants, how? Oh yes, I really don't pants. think you're going to want that back. I was very much looking forward to eating that. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I will beat him. Later. Let's see. <laughs> you you somebody fuck do us. Huh? Check him with the mic. What was on that one? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> so like six for survival to try and see if there were any creatures nearby that we could like hunt. It is a deadly uh, still landscape. The freshly sown fallen snow betrays no trails or markings or anything. The road, however, is faintly heated, so the snow is off of it. Um, you keep moving forward, and after several hours of travel, you eventually find a small sign that says the Gilded Grot. There are several other carriages parked outside. I'm going to switch over the map, because this is actually kind of for that map. Uh, click. So, you are at the Gilded Grot. Um, it is a tavern. Um, ahead of you, you see a large commotion. People are engaging in a lot of fervent arguments. Um, you enter in. It's a rancorous scene. Um, here, bear with me a moment. I misread the wrong thing. Um, this, this, uh, you see the, uh, the green grot. It's actually the green grot. Uh, the sign outside is out of a strange green creature with molted skin, sharp teeth, and distinct cheekbones. 
Uh, the interior is spare. Two persons, a Marzok merchant and a steward, are in the corner. At the center of the room are Alfurian and Kuhn mystics drinking and discussing strange theories. Um, does anyone wish to roll perception to hear what they are talking about? Sure. Nat 20. Nice. <laughs> so that's a 23. Eight. eight. What did everyone else get? I got an eight. Yeah, that's a 23. This is not the monk's day. It's never the monk's day. No, this was the dice that I always used beat, to fuck with you with and try. You beat the shit out of the dirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hands deep in that dirt. You did. So, uh, Orla, I4, are we going to roll for I have a question. Nope. nope. I have a All question. Right. When you went to the bathroom break, you did restart the record. You did, like, continue the recording. Yeah, right? yeah I double check. It's, it's still recording. Okay. <laughs> we, we have. I'm looking at it right now. We're at 1 hour 5 mi- sure. uh, minutes and 33, 34. Sweet. So, anyway. What are they saying? Um, <clears throat> Nero, even their whispers. Um, you hear them discussing um, what is ostensibly phrenology. Um, they're discussing the various slopes and indents of the cranium. And it's like, you don't understand. Sharp cheekbones mean you're very good at card games. And it's like, you're wrong. Clearly, cheekbones indicate proficiency with very specific kinds of poetry. Five, seven, fives. It's the only way. It's the only way cheekbones can work. And the other one's like, you're wrong. Cheekbones mean you have indigestion constantly. As they're constantly arguing over this. As the Alfieri and Kaleem mystics seem to be rancorously drinking, so shaking flagons at one another and yelling. They're, they're pretty distracted right now, yeah? Yes, you can see the bartender kind of looking and sighing while touching their very sharp, pronounced cheekbones, thinking, oh, wow, which one is it? <laughs> And they look at you and says, please, come in, come in, come in, have a seat, ignore them. You've been talking about cheekbones for four hours. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 do. What all can I do with this again? Color, I'm going to go yeah. up and oh, can't do get a drink, snack. I guess. I will also get up and get a drink. That makes sense. Do they, all, like, do they start, like, have best food? At all here? They have jerky. They have jerky and dried fruits and stuff of that nature as travel provisions, which you could procure. Okay. Yeah, they don't okay. exactly have a kosher menu, so to speak. Um, they do not have a fish menu. Gotcha. I'll just like eat my provisions then. Okay. Uh, do a lot of you wish to take a table? I believe there's actually um, uh, a side table on the nor- on the east side there that you all could sit in. Are you going to take a single table? You can steal a chair. Is that what we want to do? Yes. Sure. Okay, let me plop everyone over there then. Everyone is going to awkwardly slide across the map. <laughs> we'll just teleport you, which I kind of hate. But it's really slow pace. Fumble, 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 big ass hat. Fumble, fumble, fumble. The lot of you are at the table, and the bartender comes up. Um, they are a relatively tall, clean man. Um, you can see they have a small uh, name tag. Um, it's kind of elegantly calligraphy that says Rosh Tom. You say, hello, I am Rosh Tom. Welcome to my bar. What can I get you? I want virgin's piss. He goes, I hey! cover his mouth violently. <laughs> you have a bruise on the back of your head now from where you hit the chair. He's like, sorry, we don't have any honey. We can't get that. <laughs> beer. That, that is what I was going for. Beer. Beer? What kind? Your best. All right. And for you? Wait. Jerky. All right. You? Uh, just whatever the house special is. <laughs> you sure you want that? No. What a beer. I <laughs> want it. <laughs> the beer was really I favorite. want it, and I want it without salt. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I see that you truly are blessed with God's wisdom. I'll be right back. Uh, he comes back with jerky, a beer, um, some horrifying thing um, that seems to be noxiously green and bubbling. I pour alcohol on it. Um, you pour alcohol on it, and the alcohol just bounces out of the cup and then slopes under the table and soaks into the wood. And he's like, it doesn't like being touched. You have to cajole it. Um, hands you a beer, and what did you want? Just the water. Sparkling or non-sparkling? Um, still. Still, all right. You see him go back in the back. He comes back with a flagon of water, lays it down in front of you. It's like we freshly boiled it this morning. Thank you. So to be clear, I am an Alfurian, right? Yes. 
I vaguely recognize this or no? This is a Coeen beverage. It is, Coeen. it is basically a kind of slug, and it's alive when they put it in there, and you have to kind of coax a fluid out of it. It's a very right. particular process, um, and if you fuck up, it sprays a really noxious, like, ooze on you. Have time. I, in my drinking experiences, ever heard of this? <laughs> Only history. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Oh, well, that's actually that's pretty good. Is. 21. Um, you've heard of this before. Um, it's called Duh. Uh, it's actually a Persian drink. I'll tell you what it is later. Um, uh, God guy. And then there's cast guidance, and I attempt to... Okay, there's a thin metal rod next to the cup. You have to delicately put this down the creature's Okay. Until you stimulate a certain nerve cluster, which will cause it to go paralyzed, it will loosen its muscles, the smooth muscles that keep the fluid in, and then it will just slip out of it. Uh, give me, I guess, wisdom, like a wisdom plus proficiency. Yeah, that gross. yeah it's disgusting. Um, I was waiting for this scene all night. God guide me. Uh, can I guidance this or no? Yes. Okay, uh, we did our best, but that's like a 15. Yeah. You get the rod in, you feel a little resistance from the creature, you hit the sweet spot, and it goes limp, a little firm. You tip the cup back, and this beautifully flowery, petally liqueur goes into your mouth. It's some kind of bile that the creature has stored inside of it. If you scare the creature or whatever, uh, the bile becomes poisonous, but you manage to not poison yourself while drinking this. Well, I don't check, so I just drink you it. You just drink it. You don't even know if you did it right. You just drink it. Uh, give me a con save with advantage. Uh, That's cocked. Uh, 12 plus 2, 14. Uh, the, it gets you in that perfect spot. In that I'm perfect. buzz. Cool. Yeah, perfect. And also your HP goes up by 1. Um, and then the guy kind of extends out his hand. is like, <clears throat> a gold, please. <laughs> Hold on. And then he says a gold for the rest of the drinks. And he sticks out his long kind of hands, various metallic rings on it. The last thing I did that said that to something that slimy, they paid me, <laughs> to be clear. He looks at you and says, I don't doubt that. Also, is your head normally that large? How perceptive. I am of a noble race of people. You may call us the Alfurians. <laughs> he looks at the table of the other Alfurians. Kind of goes like, and then he looks at you and goes like that and goes, I get the feeling that you have been cursed. I've been cursed with too much knowledge. <laughs> In Bull Duke, Nero's going to go, you are incredibly correct. Like, his knowledge is worthless. I will look at the the barkeep, and I guess I'm going to try to intimidate him, but in that I'm better than you kind of intimidation, not scare right, go him. Ahead. Um, and I'm just going to tell him, you will write us a tab, and we will pay you when we are finished. You sound agreeable. That's fair. Let me get you some. Uh, let me get you some curry livers on the house, and then he leaves, comes back, slops down some fried livers. Um, that's covered in this kind of um, fine powder and what have you. What do I think with my snobby ass I see that history? Uh, what do you mean? Of, of the food. What do I think of the food? Um, like what is what is my what's the quality? Well, it's Coeen food. So give me a. I don't. Know, I, I think it's a kind of weird. I guess like an insight check is supposed to be appropriate. Insight. Okay. All right. I'm 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 down with that. Um, it's still plus zero, so it's just a straight roll. I can't see. That is. That's a natural 20. Oh. Too much turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> too much turmeric. Otherwise, acceptable. Right amount of ginger, but too much turmeric. Oh my god, a barbarian that's just Gordon Ramsay. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> you are an idiot, <laughs> idiot sandwich! Whack! What are you, an idiot sandwich? Whack, whack! <laughs> Um, you're going to continue your beverages. Um, who wishes to drink heavily, raise your hand, and we will continue to... Uh, of course you do. Who else wishes to drink heavily? I will drink moderately, but I will drink a lot. All right. Um, the drinks keep coming. Uh, everyone give me a round of con save. I'm not drinking anything. Because so. you cannot. No, I am not drinking either. Just one. 
Alcohol. 23. Dirty 20. Oh, right, you're good. Uh, who wishes to drink again? That was cock. Oh, well, now it's uncocked because you rolled. Oh, well, that's you cocked before it. Yeah, Ian, no, do no, I no, accept no. it now that it's uncocked uh, because they rolled it? it? He can even re roll that, yes. It was a 16. Okay, you're fine. I got a 14. Uh, if we got above a 12, just uh, you're fine. I got a 10. You're, uh, you're a little slick there. This you see the guy come by. I'm beer because I'm huge. Yeah, that's very <laughs> weird. It's like the guy looks at you and like kind of smells the beer and goes, I'm gonna get you some water. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask for the highest gravity shit, so. <laughs> it's like, it's like, this is a cup of straight brandy. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, you hear him in the back yelling in Queen. Does anyone here nope. understand Queen? I think only Orla knows. I do. Uh, hear him saying, it's like, Brandy, it's extra money. You're just gonna piss away money in my restaurant? I'm gonna send you back to the deepest mines with the foulest snails. Learn to read. I like whoever is in the kitchen. Yeah, and then he comes back out and it's like, here is water and you will fear, man. Um, do we need another round? I slam my fist on the table and scream, yes. All right, uh, comes back with some beers and for you, another worm. Or do you want to try something else? Uh, if they bring me the worm without me asking for it, I'll, I'll attempt the worm. But like, I was kind of freaked out by the worm. <laughs> the worm was like at my limits. <laughs> He's just going to hand you a beer. <laughs> All right, uh, give me another round of con saves, DC 15 this time. I fail. Um, I think I was calling it at this point. Actually, no, she's going to go for another round. She had a little I will start trying to have a conversation with 17. Her. I'm not very bright. All right, if you got the roll 15, <laughs> you're going to start kind of babbling a little bit about some random nonsense that concerns you. Uh, I, I, want to, I want to try to, I was hoping we could talk about why we're all on this damn carriage together. You are welcome to go ahead. Why? What are you all doing here? Are the while you're kind of talking, are the idiots behind us still talking about bullshit racist crap? I'm telling you, the amount of taste buds on your tongue is indicative of various personalities. For example, and you see the guy pull out what seems to be a large diagram of the tongue. And you see the front of the tongue. So as this idiot's it's talking, just, just full PowerPoint presentation. Yes, so far. Mira. Who's using right? minor illusion to broadcast? <laughs> the so he's distracted. They're all distracted, and the guy who's currently talking, Miro, as he's talking to you guys, is like using those words, going to cast prestidigitation and make it smell like rancid dog shit right underneath that guy's nose as he's talking, and just kind of like <laughs> go like this, and then just keep talking with everybody, like nothing happened. You see the guy go, oh, oh. Small shirt, small armpits, go. No, he's going to look over like one of us. Uh, uh, I wonder how suspicious you people look very suspicious. <laughs> uh, he's going to look around, kind of glance at you lot, um, give me, I guess, whatever you, what your character would be doing to look natural as you see Nero um, cast what seems to be magic in order to cause something to occur. And kind of. Reach cause out. I don't think either one of us is paying attention to this. I mean, yeah. I, 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 say, I, know Maya is. I, I, I don't. Say, they're drunk. I don't. Hey, Maya. So, uh, Maya's, Maya's good. Past every okay. second. So I will, like, Maya, see Maya, they're good. Good. We are You're fine. Yeah, what should I roll? Just uh, wisdom? Yeah. Like, that's an eight. Yeah, that's a nine. All right, Nero. Uh, My deception was a 19. All right, he looks at you and goes, eh, this is just me. And he's like, part of you, gentlemen, I have to go wash up. And he leaves while going, oh, God, carrots? <laughs> <laughs> he walks away. <sighs> and the other guy's going, okay, now we're going to talk about femur position. So, <laughs> all right. Um, feel free to discuss amongst yourselves um, why, you are, why you are in the carriage, why you are going to Dakma, the University of Worms. What's like in Dakma and what's at the University of Worms before I say stupid shit? <laughs> it's the premier academy of the Queen. It is like their version of Harvard, essentially. Um, Dakma is otherwise an, um, a city that's it's a college town. Okay, so hit me up here. Is there like a fantasy version of the Skull and Bones organization? I want to join that. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm just getting transferred. I didn't want to fucking go to school in the first place, but uh, cool. I ended up there. Is this not a trip? Uh, I'm going to a college. What should I call that? Like, going to the college much. over there. Huh? What should I call the head of like a like? My a uncle said I had to. Oh um, God! At the sure. moment, I'm. Um, I'm roped into doing everything he says. I don't want right. to I, like I understand it's use rude the, to ask. Very um, in most. Yeah, he's very Gold. At least <laughs> other races, it's rude to ask ages. But for us, we, we live for quite a long time. How how old are all of you? Like thirty-ish. Okay. See their normal. normal no, I literally yeah, say thirty. Uh, One fifty is about the cap. Is the oldest, but yeah. they mature at the same rate. Yeah, they mature at the same. That's all I'm. I'm like. Okay. And uh, Nabu here is very old. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair. You're best. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to give it a month as well. Cause oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, that's How many months? months are you? Jesus. No, but I'm just going to say a number, but it's going to like, let's say 9,600. I'm 800 years old or something. Yeah, that sounds about but, right. Like, yeah, 9,600. 9,600, Jesus. Yes. You're quite old. You've seen a lot. Sorry. Uh, by yes. the supreme being, sweet titty milk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there going to be, oh, I guess I'll understand, like, the, no, um... You understand that they don't understand your, uh, customs and you explain. Yes, uh, month, months, I guess? Like, oh, seasons? Uh, so still like. make you still uh, quite old. Love? 800-ish? Somewhere around there. I, uh, no, it does not compute. Was that, was that a rip joke? Oh, wow, okay. Right. Well done! Okay. Well done! Sorry. Band, that was a fantastic pull. <laughs> that was pretty good, I got it. But. All right, now let's uh, continue the discussion, kind of build up our rapport before the inevitable betrayal, and uh, we can go from there. Is there anything else we want to discuss about the carriage ride, what we're going to be doing in Dakma? Well, I'm going um, to my father's funeral, so. That's terrible. Hey. Eh. Did you know that funerals tend to follow one another? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drinking your butt. I wish I could kill my dad. What does the He's a fucking asshole. I mean, mine was as well. I'm honestly kind of glad he's dead. My father was very loving and supportive and always there for us. Is he still alive? That's a fucking lie. Possibly. That's nice. Wait. <laughs> I'm just I'm just calling you out because I'm drunk and being belligerent. Right. I mean, like. I guess uh, I didn't like this work thing, and he didn't understand why I didn't have friends, and um, the stealing was an issue. Um, <laughs> he wasn't supportive of the stealing, no, uh, or the anything, actually. Uh, but I mean, mom liked him, I think. Right. So is that is that why you worship the beer god? They're not a beer god. They're actually an impulse, no consequences god. Well, it's not no consequences. Consequences are going to happen. Just ignore them. I would <laughs> love to ignore consequences. What did you say? Yeah, no <laughs> consequences. Just don't think about them, and they don't exist. This guy sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, also, you should probably kill your dad, because you have a strong impulse I'm to do it. I'm going to. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I, and I, I, feel like I think I, at this point I'm just going to pass out on the table. Yeah. Well, that has passed out. Um, you see the bartender rush down and go, uh, you hear him go into the kitchen and yell and claim, hey, get the big guys and all that large woman upstairs to one of the rooms. Anyway, um, before that happened, I guess my father, <laughs> bit of a drill sergeant. I know everything I know because of him, but he is quite an ass. So are they like literally a drill sergeant, or are they like a drill captain? Let's just drill say <laughs> <laughs> private drill person. We like. Do they actually use a drill? Our family does a very specific thing. Murder. <laughs> now, as you said, he kind of just smirks and just he goes. We do a very specific thing. We train for it for a hundred years before we're ever even allowed to go on missions. I am 135 myself at this Are point. Are you a ninja? I, I am not a ninja, no. Um, but 
I'm going to venture to guess assassin? Close. <laughs> he is a man of God, for I went through the same thing myself. Are we all holy men? No. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> even close. I... Just, I <laughs> You could say I have a relationship with a deity, so to speak, but I am not a holy man. I'm spiritual, I'm not Christian. For what? I, I completely <laughs> understand. I, have a past. <laughs> I completely understand. Having sex with deities is fun. <coughs> Do you, are you speaking from experience, or...? I've attempted it, but unfortunately I was too close to death. Oh no, I think you got fucked. Ah. God has fucked you many times. Anyway... Well, I certainly believe that you flirted with death, but slept with her. Hasadiga <sighs> e-boy. I... I, um... I don't know. I've spent nights around death. Death and I are, like, close friends. I don't want to say I've been friend-zoned by death, okay, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, Thanos. Oh, <laughs> Um, Band, permaband. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> anyway, does anyone else have anything else they wish to discuss about our carriage mm -hmm. ride, about Dachma? Did you guys just, just let the barkeepers drag me upstairs? No, like, yeah. we're gonna, like, uh, I'm gonna, uh, like, try and, like, well, I mean, I, you up. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Brief comment. Remind me to tell you about the religion in the book Word Breaker. <laughs> Press the yeah, oh, yeah. smelling oh, yeah. salt underneath your nose. <laughs> They, uh, the several large burly uh, barkeep show up with aprons. They are smeared in grease and other foodstuffs. They are clearly washing dishes or something. I guess they can't afford presentation cloths in this restaurant. They. That's disgusting. Fix, fix, fix. <laughs> they look at you and go, hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, they pick up Orla. And, uh, like, <laughs> and then, like, you're like, left. Right, as they drag you upstairs. Let me try something, and I smelling salt press the digitate underneath your nose. What is that supposed to do? Smelling salt wakes you up if you're unconscious. Oh, okay. Like you jolt up, and you're well. All of these cooks now have a shit ton of bruises because I jolt up like a like a fucking madman and just start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> man, please, man, man, we we're just trying to help, man. Um, they leave you alone. And say, all right, fine. Okay, I'm more pots full of gross worms, and I leave it. Um, Orla, Eiffel, Nabu, Maya, and Nero, what do we like to do now? I will presumably find a place to sleep outside. Outside? Pulling the dirt. Okay. Um, okay. I am, am I sober enough after that to be able to ask for a tab? <laughs> <laughs> um, the tab rides this fine bullet. I throw down eight because I'm drunk. I uh, take you, three of it away. <laughs> no tips. <laughs> man, I didn't even see what that was. Natural one was the was the disadvantage roll, so I definitely don't see that. <laughs> the guy looks at you, mutters a curse at Eiffel and Colleen. And I mage hand the tip out of his hand and back to the guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, context, yelling, I'm yelling guys? at him for insulting my friend and Koei, and he can barely understand me because I'm... That's an 18 plus what? What do I add for it? Sleight of hand? Yeah. Dex plus... Uh, 23. God damn it. Uh, yeah, not even, neither more than a 10, man. <laughs> You're like, ha ha! And all of a sudden, a hand just goes... Yep. <laughs> and sink. You're like, God, why? And I give it back said, to the... Why? <laughs> Your funds disappear from your hands, and they plop into the cook's pockets. Um, I just kind of like nod at them, and then dissipate the hand. They have a uh, best approved accommodation outside, where you can lounge in the stable. You are more than welcome to. Um, now, for Nero, Orla, Eiffel, and Maya, you wish to sleep inside the tavern, I imagine? I want to sleep next to this person. Or only if I can have my own room. Um, I, was, I, was, I, was, I need to make sure that Oral Lath gets safely to a room. I will ask for a room and then go to it. All right. Um, you are giving your room key. Um, they say um, they comp the rooms. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's, uh, for nearly alcohol poisoning our friend. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, they get like a free gold tip. You know. Yeah, they have three gold tips. So these comp the rooms for the lot of you. Uh, I will use escort Orla upstairs. How do you do this? 
Because I don't think Orlin wants or desires or needs an escort. I mean, I thought they were almost passed out drunk. Was, I smell like something they, back they awake. Uh, if you're awake, then I just like, I shuffle behind you uh, in what can be best described as a craven posture. <laughs> <laughs> so, you skulk upstairs and you each depart to your room. With my next bed. Uh, Eiffel, do you wish to bed with Nabu? I want to sleep next to this fucker outside on the dirt. <laughs> I will wait. Like, I will wait. Like, while he's going upstairs, I'm going to be, you know, hide, like trying to hide myself, you know, cover okay. myself in dirt, you know. So, like, uh, hopefully he doesn't notice. I look for you. Can I perform a perception check at disadvantage? You may, because they are kind of earth colored and they are covered in earth, and it's actually kind of hard to see them. It's relatively bright outside. The lanterns are not glowing brightly. That was a natural one. You have no idea. Um, so I have 15, about uh, 18. So. <laughs> Disappeared into the night, gone. Uh, what do you want to do, Ivan? Um. God, can you please shrink my head to normal this size? Please, God. <laughs> you may do divine intervention with advantage. Nope. Also, nope. Um, you feel that God finds this to be perhaps not a fitting punishment, an unfitting punishment, and is exceedingly hilarious, and we are not inclined to assist you at present. He's like, well, That's fair, bro. I <laughs> say to this guy. <laughs> I uh, head back, I guess, before I like get in, before I close the door, I'm like, next time. <laughs> I close it, and I find a room, I guess. All right, Maya, how are you going to tuck in? Just going to one of the rooms they come for us, uh, doffing my armor and getting in bed and going to sleep. All right, down, 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 hey. down. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Rude. Miro, what would you like to do, my dear? So right before he passes out, he recasts Mage Armor so that he's never caught unawares. And then he's going to use his Thieves' Tools to basically just jimmy an alarm on the door so if anyone opens it while he's asleep, it, like, will ring a bell and wake him up. And he sleeps with his crossbow on his chest, like, holding it ready. <laughs> Probably, like, pointing out the window because that's, like, the other... Yeah. The last person who went to sleep with their weapon on them, um, did a thing. <laughs> Good job, Orla. He, he drunkenly stumbled into my tent. <laughs> that on one. Top of it was me. in that one. Ooh. I that woke one. up, <laughs> swung, critted me, critted <laughs> and that him at one hit point. He <laughs> instantly killed him. Yes. It was, instantly knocked me out. It was great. <laughs> so, you wake up in the morning, um, your carriage is outside, um, the bartender has prepared some of the older food items from the prior day. They have been salted and preserved. There is a small bundle that says, thank you for stopping by the Grinning Grot. We thank you for your patronage. Enjoy your journey. And there is a small cachet of some of the older items, as well as an extra slug for <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to make it a pet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this. Okay. Um, it is a horrifying little creepy creature with yep. lamprey teeth. That yep. 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 All right. I don't even have like a glass holder. I just find a bag where I put it in and I try it's to forget parasite, about it. It's a parasite, right? It's a parasite, yeah. So you just you throw this thing in like a burlap sack. You can hear it going. As it like kind of chitters around in there and starts trying to eat through the sack. Um, it starts to exude bile and the bile starts to smell and you're like. No, 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 I just, I just close my eyes, and I'm like, Lord, is this a bad idea? <laughs> huh? Lord, Candrasak, in my quest to achieve pure tamasic, is this a horrible idea? Um, you get a feel, a divine presence, almost like Candrasak itself is imparting upon you the purest of all wisdoms, and you get the impression of a dismissive shrug. <laughs> So even you don't care if I do this. Cool, and I throw the slug while it's in the bag and I don't open it. <laughs> you do what? I, I like, I'm like, well, God doesn't give a shit. I just throw the bag. Um, in the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I had the bag. Roll me a percentile and give me a range of 30 numbers. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you have to give me the range first. 
Three oh. thirty numbers. Sure. I also rolled the wrong die. Um, I don't, one through thirty. Uh, one through twenty-nine, and then the other one being sixty-nine. Uh, that's a eighty-nine. Uh, you kind of like just go whip it around, chuck it, and it flies across the room, smacks into a wall over here, and then it goes thoop, right into a trash can, and you're like, cool. You <laughs> You hear one of the Alfirian and uh, Mar- I have Mar- daddy Mar- issues with God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> um, you chuck it in there, and one of the Alfirian clerics, um, they're all passed out on the table, along with the, Mar- uh, with the Kony Mystics. And one of them goes, hey, this is a really good work. <laughs> Wait, they're all passed out? Does he pass back out? Huh? They're all passed out? Does yeah. Does he pass back out after saying it? Yeah. I press the titch all their clothes to smell like absolute dog shit, and then we leave. <laughs> okay. Is this what you're just gonna be doing? Oh, There's God. a reason I took press the digitation! God, I hate you. Uh, do I notice at all? Notice what? That you're. Cast. I'm not doing it to you. I'm doing it to all the assholes who were talking. Yeah, but all those assholes are the only Alfurians in this place. No, that's fair. Are you watching me? No, not really. I will roll a slide of I'm not. I'm not. It really. starts to profusely smell like dog shit. I thought you were trying to murder us, and then I got bored when you weren't. <laughs> is, the, is the half dragon and ASMR still at the other table? Uh, no, they have sculpt upstairs. Uh. So, you end up going into your carriage. Um, the interior of your carriage still smells like urine, but faintly so now. Does anyone want to say use press digitation to get rid of the scent, or are we going to ride on top of the carriage can you, again? Can you do that trick on, so the carriage doesn't smell? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. It's very bright out here. You walk in, um, you also clean up the meat. Um, the meat has uh, been crudely slammed into the refrigerator. You can kind of tell there's like bloody handprints on the exterior where someone was pushing down on <laughs> 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 Now, right. Clean, 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 clean. Um, start making your way north, um, and you're about to pass over the final mountain range until eventually you start your descent into the plains that surround Queen territory and eventually Dakma. Um, it shouldn't be more than a six hour journey or, sh- or so in order to get back there. Now, as you are moving your way through, um, you eventually see on the side of the road a large glade. Um, it's bright, a vibrant, glade. except a oh. glade. Um, unlike everything else, the landscape is a pine barren, desolate, cold, slotted in snow, and completely just devoid of life, except for the strange growth, which is warm, vibrant, inviting, refit with food, food uh, fruit, water, and a tree in its center um, with an inviting before. glow. Yeah, we have been here before. <laughs> yeah, there were runes here last time. Yeah, I use this map. <laughs> Do we wish to investigate this, or are we going to keep going? Do is I see it, the same is it glowing? Thing? Huh? Do I, see the, like, do I see the same sort of thing, like it's um, full of water and life and everything like that? To you, it seems to be eerily familiar. It reminds you of the home. see a big outline of a dragon on that tree. I uh, totally want to get some sap out of it. I will, like, oh, do I need to make a perception check to kind of, like, know that that's kind of out of place here? Yes, uh, you immediately know that this should not fucking be here, and you can it, almost instinctually, a lot of you know there is something kooky going on here. This should not be here. Um, now, does anyone wish to investigate what exactly is going on here that is kooky? Sure. Yeah. Roll an investigation. Oh, whatever you do, you do with advantage, now, boo. Okay. Because you get a certain kind of familiarity with this scene. God has already told us that this site is huh? wrong. Investigation? Yeah. Arcana 20. Can I, like, I know it's not the greatest uh, one, but can I use a religion, do a religion check? Mm. Yes. I thought it was a tip. It was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, no. The only thing I have that's really high is stealth. Alright, tell me if you do. Oh, actually, I, I didn't think it was 20. 20. Well, okay. Thanks. Anyone else wish to investigate these? Numbers sh- higher than 10 do do exist, Ken. <laughs> if I have advantage. If, if I, I have advantage. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maya, do you wish to roll religion or anything? I have two damage. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, not enough. Uh, I full or lie anything? Oh, uh, I think trying to figure this out would be literally a sin. 
you feel almost immediately a different divine presence has caused this particular manifestation. Ah, uh, eleven. All right. Uh, Nero and Nabu, more particularly Nabu, you feel that there is a divine presence working here, an older divine presence. Um, Miro, you determined that um, it's not Alfurian, it's not Colleen, it's not Marzac, it's not Old Duke. Um, can't quite put your finger on it, though. Um, Nabu, though, um, you sit around and you make a very astute observation, almost instinctually, that this is a manifestation of your God, the one true Lord. And you get the feeling that there is some aspect of its divinity somewhere around here that is empowering the tree in this way. Um, do you wish to search for something? I'm kind of inclined to just leave it be and let uh, God's majesty stand. Um, and I will inform everyone, this is God's majesty and God's work. I believe we should not uh, touch this and just move on. Right. Which God? The one true one, of course. Oh, well, I literally, can't, I literally can't desecrate the true supreme being. And so I guess my, ho my you've literally foiled my hog shit <laughs> <laughs> now, does anyone wish to desecrate this holy ground or engage in any anti uh chicanery? Nobody? Everyone's going to be nice about this? Meh. All right, perfect. I have zero in Right. I was going to fuck around. I literally uh, not fuck particularly, no. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, now, Boo, do you wish to pray or engage in any kind of rite while you are here? I will gather some dirt to bring okay. with me. I've got a job to... You gather the dirt <laughs> and you feel that when the dirt touches your hand that you feel a certain semblance of belonging, warmth, and vitality restored to you that was perhaps lost in ages past. A fainted, the faintest sliver of a thing taken has been restored. Um, you get the feeling that there is a particular ritual you need to perform with this dirt, but you feel that you can conquer yourself a benefit from this holy glaive. Um, now, do we wish to depart from this glaive and continue our journey? Mm, yes. Sure. Yes. All right. Um, you continue your way out. Um, in the distance is the glade. It's faint and warm, disappearing in these swirling motes of snow. The interior of the cabin is very warm. It's heated and what have you magically. Um, the snow becomes to grow thicker. The road, even with the heated tiles and magical properties to keep it clear, begins to struggle in the great windstorm until eventually it peters away and you reach the crest of the mountain. And ahead of you, in the distance, near the horizon, you see a large series of mountains, granite citadels stacked once upon one upon another, upon another, upon another. And there, nestled within the nearest peak in a large furrow, you see the University of Worms, its large, um, its large towers and lights and arcane energies manifesting over the horizon. And you begin your descent into the plains. You eventually arrive at the base of the mountain, and you are in a flat plain, a low grassland. There are deer prancing around. Uh, gazelles, the occasional lion, which avoids the large carriage, until eventually you come across what seems to be a strange little intersection. And I never put your tokens on this map. One second. Cannot see shit. This is a really random question, but none of the gazelles are ever within arm's reach, correct? They are not. Okay. Um, I don't know why you are all suddenly freakishly huge on this. We map. are massive. <laughs> Finally, you've joined me, comrades. <laughs> We are still massive, even at that size. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm going to fix it really quick. Um, so, <laughs> we do in front of you seems of to size. be the remnants of an old Colleen throne. Uh, Orly here would understand, and I suppose everyone kind of knows, the Colleen, centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries ago, used to dwell in the open air in a kind of a communal landscape and Jesus, whatnot. these are massive squares. <laughs> Yeah, they're really huge. The distance is fucked. Yeah, I have to fix a few things here. Wait a minute. Did I accidentally make you too small? No, well, that's... All right, point two is the smallest I can make you, so that's just what it's going to be. I'm going to adjust the size of the map really quick while I'm doing this. Um, it is an ancient queen throne room um, that is still exposed. Oh, my God. What the hell? Why Yay, you? it worked. <laughs> I'm tiny, tiny. All right, uh, feel free to adjust yourself to be microscopic, I guess. I am. Exactly. I'm actually. I didn't. Oh. You did that. Uh, they reset the ratio of the map. I assume. Oh, here we go. Also, the game is paused, so we can't move or anything. There you go. Cool. Uh, feel free yeah. to adjust your tokens. Oh god, you gotta adjust. No wonder we couldn't see you. You little bitch. 
I'm oh, actually really that. tall. Here, let me pause really quick and adjust the size of the map. Yes. So we're now back at the titillating terrors known as the Taunting, who are going to terrifically terrorize every ten seconds of my terrific life. So yes, um, we are here in a queen throne, an ancient queen throne room that is exposed to the exterior light and not buried in the depths of a mountain range. This is when the queen originally dwelled on the surface world before they were terrorized by the demon bird known as Weezilla. Orla, you are faintly familiar with these things. There's kind of a faint nostalgia to seeing this. You would occasionally come here to have open air lectures. Um, but I did not pay. Is that time. really the demon bird's name? Weedzilla, yeah. Weedzilla. Weedzilla. Okay. <laughs> so, the Kaleem have IBS. Huh? The Kaleem have IBS. I do. Why do they have IBS? Because they're terrified of wheat. <laughs> wow. I hate um, that. <laughs> do I? Do my letter, my letter have instructions for. We're at basically supposed to be out of ours. If they had IBS, I don't know what's up with the slug drink. We are, or the curry food. Alright, let's, let's, bring, let's bring in Clutch. So, we're here at the Queen Throne Room. Uh, we are having, having a stop here because it is temperate. You have been Just traveling for several hours, and people were complaining about stretching your legs, so you're kind of out here in the. Garden. Oh, it's break time, I got you. It's break time. Um, you're here in the throne room. Um, you're now and taking your break. Uh, Maya, is there anything that you... Uh, I, Maya, what have you been doing the past few hours on the way down that might perhaps inculcate yourself to saying something that might be disadvantageous? Uh, you know, maybe swapping strong. war stories, let's say? Just like, yep. you know, we're all chatting about, like, you know, past battles we've had, because that seems like something we would all do, right? Yeah. This one time, I shot a guy in the head. This other time, I shot another guy in the head. I just spent it. <laughs> I just spent most of six hundred years beating off a bunch of old men. Did, Wait, did okay, you say like that sexually, correctly? physically, you emotionally. Know, like, why do you like think I uh, have you know arms and like a second you know force arms and right? Um, I'm just gonna are leave you, that one alone. Huh. Do, do you like pay for your service? No, uh, if anything, paid? I was the one paying. Wait, uh, but you two... paid to do it. You paid to check the vote. Okay. Because I am interested in making money. You're uh, not interested in making that kind of money. I. Well, of course, like it's part of God's I, training, you know. I've been informed that I'm not interested in making that kind of money. <laughs> So I'm gonna change the subject if you don't mind. Please, <laughs> <Don't> we, <laughs> have, are, are we all in like actually? We should be down, I guess, down here. Yeah, right? yeah we're, we're in some Kaleen throne area. The right, history I'm, of ages I'm of the Paras. What it. wisdom do you have to impart? Oh, I, I have definitely sat myself on the throne. <laughs> just, just as a side note. That's all right, so I guess we're all showing up here. Then I guess let's just do this. Cool. Let me zoom zoom in a little bit for our friends at home. Is there a roof on this? There is no roof. Okay, cool. But this is a tree? Yeah, that's a tree. Yeah. Um, no. This one time I actually killed a Volduk? Yeah, who looked a lot like you. Um, the black obsidian color. Really? Nice. Big fellow. Very strong. Very strong. Very tall. Threatening. He almost crushed my head in. Then I stabbed him in the eyeball. Do they have any possessions, like hmm. family photos or any kind of like mementos on their body that were very visibly identifying? Well, I found his wallet, you see. Oh, you're right, you did. I opened it up, just like a long string of family photos came falling out. Super cute kid. Looks so innocent. So just pure and untouched by pain. I will have to tell you. I. Um, son or daughter or whatever uh, you are um, was this in self-defense because that is not a good thing to do okay wait two, two, I have multiple things All right. I was going to say two things but I have multiple things you who okay who are you to judge me first off second off it was in a battle so like that's how it goes oh then it's self-defense you're good yeah Trying to kill me, I'm trying to kill him. We're both getting paid. Oh my god, if I just say everything self-defense, then I can get away with anything. Yes. 
all of a sudden a small piece of paper descends from the heavens and lands in your hand. <laughs> it is in celestial. It says no. <laughs> <laughs> it says no. <laughs> I just quietly just I'll show you and fold it and put it in my pocket. You look up in the sky and the clouds say, no. form the image of Bugs Bunny with his. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. No. You look at your hand, it says no. <laughs> what was the name of this adversary? Oh, I don't remember. It was so, well, not that long. Did you keep the wallet? I did. It had like five gold pieces in it. Did you keep the family photos? No, I burned them. Huh? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, you know, no. those are that they can't <laughs> come back. No, Why? So we can have our epic uh, fight for the show. So you can also hear the conversation. Oh, no, I heard it, and then I walked away. Ooh. Oh. Nobody was paying attention. You guys are all still talking. Why? I'm you still trying to walk check. away. Huh? Make an insight check. Okay. Huh? And I guess make a deception check on your... <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> it's an 18. God. Well, I'm minus one. Well, so it's an 18 10. plus whatever the hell my thing is. Yeah, no, you pass. Okay. Jesus. 21. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, he just seems to be casually walking away. Okay. Just mm-hmm. casual, you know, just amongst bros, just walking away. So, um, what about all of you? That was probably, I don't know, not a very well said story, but it was a story. Okay, um... I killed many of my trainers. I had 14 of them. <laughs> and the final test was to kill them. All of them? Well, yes. I At can't, once? You can't... Pr- no, I killed... They were each progressively stronger than the last. And the final test was to face them in full ritual combat and murder them. Yes, I had a similar uh, situation. Um, you know, the like training of my body was quite important. Training of my mind apparently was something I never could do, but apparently my body was good enough that I could uh, progress through the ranks and uh, finally be allowed to walk the earth. Now, you... it, your your race is like kind of a rock golem type of thing, right? Yes. Yeah, they were like golems, okay. basically. Yeah. So Orla is going to say, smirking, are you saying you're as dumb as a box of rocks? What, did you mention something? No. Check. No. Hey. Okay, I see. All right. I don't know. I've never messed okay. with like a clever talking box of rocks. So to progress through the ranks, do you have to like beat off the older men like you were saying? or? Yes, I have to show that I am uh, physically and emotionally uh, capable of handling uh, whatever may come my way, whatever mm. unexpected surprises may oh, arise. Oh shit. Are uh, you out of character? Is it like that one scene in Kung Pao where they just hit the dudes in the day? <laughs> 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 I don't think you've seen the scene, apparently. So wait, are you talking about the scene where he withstands it? Yeah. Like, or the one where he just drops to the ground and they start <laughs> whacking him? The first part, he just beat the fucking... He's just standing there, whack, 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 dick strike. So, I'm, I'm assuming I'm detecting... Orla, Orla is saying this for clarity's sake, because she's getting tired of, of the middle schooler jokes. Uh, I, I feel like there's a language barrier here. Are you saying that you had to fight all of them off as a test similar to my own? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not sexual in nature in any way. No, what the hell is going for me? Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> you see the people that I apparently hang out with. I mean, there's absolutely nothing sexual about gestures broadly to all of you. Mm-hmm. This is true. About I was what? sad. There's nothing like sexual gestures broadly to all of you. Oh, no, no. Um. Hey, what's your AC? At the bar, bar. eighteen. Huh? Drink. Yeah. I was about to ask. At the bar, when I said that, my father so was loving and yeah. supportive. At, at, as you guys are still talking, all of a sudden you just hear, <laughs> and you get hit by three bolts at once. Can I choose? Like, what? The I love how my last oh, word on. before he gets hit was at the bar when I said my father was loving and supportive. <laughs> <laughs> three darts. So that's. Wait, it's it's a D ten and then it's two like broken shards basically. Okay. Let's uh, uh what gun shoots three arrows? A uh, custom one. That... They have a custom fucking crossbow. Yeah. Can I, uh, okay, I just your fuck. Okay. Oh, I <laughs> knew I was screwed the moment I heard how Ian's rules work. 
The gun's name is Kira. The gun's name is Kira. Kira. Good. Can I like you um, to um, if, the if you would like to know, it's Bianca. Yeah. If oh, you know, love that. Love that. Yeah. Um, it is uh, a DB version. Yes. Um, Nabu here wants to use their weird monk abilities in order to deflect projectiles to stop the assassination. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I will allow it. Uh, let me look at you're not in the way, though. I'm oh. over here. You're not even, like, you're behind them. You wouldn't be in the line of fire. Or sight. Or sight. There. Okay. So you just got hit by the front. You can try after this one. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, like, so I guess in that case, I'm, I'm not in a position really to deflect him. So, yeah. You just, 13. like, yeah, your character's just going to get uh, smacked. Mm. Yeah. And then, wait. Oh no, you deleted them all. Damn it. Um, okay, let us bow our heads so in prayer and roll initiative. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, and then I add Dex 13. Oh wow, that was a nat 1. Your roll so unreliable as such. 17. Yeah. Oh, Ian, can you make a encounter on that? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 17. 28. Yet to roll. Fuck Christ. All right, just go over to the combat tab. Let me set everyone. I'll type it in because it's just going to migrate over to you. Uh, and then we're missing Orla. And then we have... I got a 13.10. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing points on this one. Can you just manually do ours? Yeah. And then just switch it. Mine's a 28. And with that first shot, he sets the shield, too. Um, okay. Do. So okay, so... so that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, what did you get? 17. 18. 17. Nabu, what did you get? 17. Uh, Dex mods? Mm -hmm. Well, you can choose. Who wishes to go first? I have a Dex oh. mod of a plus 3. And what do you have? I've got a plus 3, but you can go first. Okay. Um, I'm, did you did you slink away? Did you like stealth away when you? I you just walked, walked away. You just walked. Yep. Just walked okay. Away, yeah. I just uh, calmly walked away with a very high deception roll. Okay. Um, There's more than one reason I wanted to get on the throne. It was not just role play. So. Yeah. Uh, it's 18 damage. Okay, I'll take 18. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a D10 and then two D4. Hmm. All right. Um, Eiffel, what did we get? Uh, two. Jesus Christ. Why are you so bad? Okay, and Maya, what did we get? Uh, like 13. Um, huh, weirdly what you actually rolled. There was a... Well, no, that's because I rolled it on there. <laughs> okay, so we have top of round, Miro. Would you like to do Miro? Mm -hmm. It's a 16 plus... What is it? 5, 6, 7, so 16, 7, 18. Yeah, it is. Because okay. you said 18, right? Yeah. Okay. Roll this again. Because he's just not a soul phone. Yeah. No. Fucking pro. Okay. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Okay. 16 points of damage for the second shot, and then. Let's see. Where is everybody from me? How far off are we now? Oh, way too close. Um. I don't like that it's going to lower my AC, but, yeah, um, so he's going to fly straight up 60 feet into the air. You have flying speed of 60? 30, but I cast Expeditious Retreat before we start to come down. Oh, okay. oh yeah, <laughs> otherwise it would be horrifying. Um, this is going to be terrible. Um, oh, uh, Steven, you see that when you click on your token, there's like a... Yeah, that, you know how it works. Yeah, uh, I, I believe it or not. If I actually chose to fight you with my full powers, I have recourses. Okay. I'm just doing, I'm not after you. And actually with the second shot, he's going to say, that was my father. Ooh. Well, your father shouldn't have been in a war. You shouldn't have been in the war with him. Do you expect your father not to die there's, in a there's war? Not enough, there's not enough time in combat for this much talking. There's six it's seconds. A free, it's a free action. It's fine, this is fine. All right, now boo. It is your turn. I, I, I also mean, get weird out. I'm just gonna say, like, 
just like calm down, you know, get grounded and try and talk this out, you know. Like, so your by the way, yeah, I am very object. bloodied. Yeah, you, yeah, the uh, Stephen's uh, horrifying crossbow, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. It's just two extra d4, and yeah, I can I only mean, aim it at one thing. Yeah, eh, I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, it's basically. I mean, next level I get 2d10 with Eldritch Blast, so that's just what I'll do if you nerf that, so meh. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's kind of Okay, oh, yeah, whatever, we'll talk about it later. Nabu, what do we wish to do? I'm just gonna like try like talk him down. Like, come on, guys. Like, what are you gonna say? Um, Maya, Nero, do you hear Nabu's attempts to broke peace? Yes, I do not want to die. I'm all for peace. What do you say? I mean, many like people die in wars, and um, I'm sh your race comes back uh, from the dead. I'm sure. We do. I'm sure you will have a opportunity to meet in this Life life, in the next, or many, Not you know, memories. like, you know, many down the line. It is part of a, the greater tradition of things for your kind, as I understand. Well, unfortunately, within my family, you avenge deaths. I mean, it's like, well, I tried. Nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I used words. Hi, right. I cast top no jutsu. Or I, know, uh, I am getting comfortable on my throne. I am spinning my great sword and watching this fight. That is all I am doing. Oh Jesus! All right, my uh, what do you wish to do, my dear? Oh my God. Let's see, okay, let's see what the map looks like right now. Let's see. You're out there. Right. You're 60 feet away? I am 60 feet in the air. I'm and 40 feet away from you, 60 feet in the air. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly how Yeah, let's away. Pythagorean. Uh, yeah, go do the 60, pixel. 40, 40, 40, 72. I am 72 feet away. Okay. Hmm. Do you have a ranged option, Maya? Oh, no, I... Am I able to take dash twice if, like, I need to? You do attack? action and then you do bonus action, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move 30 feet and then bonus action 30 funny. feet and, and then so action 30 shit. feet. And run away. Huh, alright, that's interesting. Well, hey. when you take 40 damage in the span of 6 seconds, there's not many options. Uh, what direction are you going to move in, Maya? Uh, the way that's most away. So uh, I guess north. You can technically go inside the carriage. I'm going to say, see the big rock over there on the top left? Yeah. I'm going to say, we just treat that as the carriage. And if you're inside of it, then you're under basically what is full cover unless they get down on the ground and then aim at you. Can I control the carriage from uh, within? Uh, yeah, you technically could if you wish. All right. Can you um, low jack the carriage all the meat and everything I there? mean, yeah. How far away is that? Is that 20 feet? Yeah, about 20 feet, yeah. OK, I'll just make my movement to hop in the carriage use action for object interaction to get it going and um yeah it starts going away i'm going to say that it has a movement speed of 45 i think that sounds kind of reasonable okay cool can that like can i bonus action that for the move uh it doesn't have dash um it just goes 45 um okay yeah i we figured it out um you're under full cover now Cool. All right. I mean, I will follow your, full your, dashing with uh, my bonus oh, action okay. every time, so that's 60 feet every time. Okay. I good. will eventually catch it. This is very yeah. interesting. All right. Eiffel. I just learned some stuff about words and what they mean. So you cannot command a flying creature to grovel, which will be prone, is visibly a harmful act that they can process mentally, and they will refuse the command. Yeah, I hate that. That would have been really So funny. that would have been funny. Uh, hey. So I can outrun the carriage. Yes. By a significant margin. Yes. Yeah, you could. You can. I question this carriage. Okay. Just bolt. You should just Yeah, I'm bolt. just going to run then. If this thing can only go 45 and I can go 90. All right. Uh, you are just yeeting the fuck out of it. All right, so yeah. you're 90 feet straight from where you were <clears throat> this direction-ish. So yeah, so whatever. away from you. So, hold on. Let me see. Do, 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 All right. Uh, do. Eiffel, what do you wish to do? <laughs> um... How far away are they from okay, me? So All right, can we get a quick uh, Pythagorean theorem out? How far? Uh, from me. you? Hold on. Okay. 
90 is a long way off the map, y'all. 40 is the same. It's the same. So it's 40, 40 72. 72. Yeah. I need to move 10 feet towards you, I believe. Uh, check the word I'm on this well spell. off the map if I go 90. That's fine. Okay. I'm That's well why I just map. started keeping like, <coughs> track of the distances uh, and we'll adjudicate. I didn't so really like that guy. But 165 away. If the option okay. is you just murder him and leave or us keeping that guy, I'd rather keep the guy. So what are we going to do here? Like? You, you'll just... Do, do you reply to my statement? Anna dictates that I get revenge for my father's kill. That's, that's all you say, correct? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to cast all person. Okay. Huh, interesting. Oh no, this actually could work. <laughs> What's the save? Uh, DC wisdom. 15. Wisdom. Ah, <laughs> What? Oh my god. What are you, I, I, I'm playing these dice. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You've seen me roll garbage on it, too. Oh, yes. are, this is um, this is insane. This is the dice that I used to murder you in Curse of Shroud. <clears throat> okay, Miro, it is your turn. Yeah, you're not far enough away. I'm 175 feet It's a heavy away. crossbow. I'm sorry. Range, 300. God doesn't want to save you. Yeah. Heavy crossbows are 100, 400 at disadvantage, but I have sharpshooter. Jeez. So it's straight. That's a 12 plus. Do I have partial cover from the fact that there's a bunch of trees? Doesn't matter. Uh, I would agree with that, so add two degrees. It degree doesn't six. matter. Oh, you ignore that? Oh, sharpshooter. God damn it. Attacking along. It's not from range. It's from cover. Oh, it, yeah, it, it ignores... Matter. How does that? Okay, jeez. It's, it's all the like extra shit that you can take. I am a sniper. I took all Olivia, the snipery feats. Olivia does that in Cataclysm, where fucking Ponike ignores basically everything except full cover, and it's my worst nightmare. Yeah, jeez. it's <laughs> precise shooter. Range attacks ignore half and three quarters cover, and then sharpshooter is attacking at long range doesn't impose disadvantage on your long range attacks. Um, so that's twelve plus seven. Nineteen. Okay. Oh, well, my is dead. Yeah, <laughs> I have eight hit points left. Oh, yeah. well, oh, sure. oh, wait, wait. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, no, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Because I was like a one and a. Okay, but yeah, no, you're you're dead. That's eight on the dice plus another five. Oh, there you go. All right, GG. So, thud. Yep, drop dead. Arrow slinks across the air, plunges into the back of Maya. Maya, do you wish to? Die quickly, or give a monologue as you tell... Nah, just arrow back in the head <laughs> on the ground. That's it. <laughs> okay, now who wants to loot the corpse? I know someone is eventually going to ask that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we just give uh, Cole a hand here for doing a great job? Wait, wait, actually, I actually want to roll something real quick. Go for I it. should have used my action to drink the potion. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> just to remove it from our resources. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually going to roll D100 to see if the potions I'm carrying break when I fall. Oh, there you uh, go. Like there you go. Uh, give me a range of 30. Uh, 1 through 30. Okay, if you land within that, they break. Now I'm just going to say this out of character. Uh, ah! uh, hey, uh, they break. They no, smash. No, no, no. There's just superior healing potion on the ground. Which heals your corpse, but your your corpse. So. <laughs> but your corpse. <laughs> um, out of character, had you not been leaving, he would have not killed you after everyone saying everything. Out of character. Actually, can, can we can we do, do the potions actually heal her when when they break on the ground? No, I'm just joking. Like somehow they like they they they, they stitch. Because if you were gonna leave her alive, then there's some conflict that will happen. Hmm. But but you're the DM. If they don't actually bring her back to full health, that's okay. what I want to know. Do they do they do they bring no, her back? No, what they do is they like they, they heal the damage done to the body, but not the soul. The so soul it stabilizes her, but doesn't. No, 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 they're, no dead. They're, they're dead. 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 Well, three bolts and then slivers, that basically. All right, so any of Bob Boyard Cole, we're all going to miss you. Uh, I don't have a character sheet, so I have to tear this laptop in half now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I wish we could just bury the sheet out back with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to miss you, Cole. It's, um, it was beautiful. Wish you could stay longer, but I know you're going to do better in North Carolina. 
Yeah, uh, okay, good luck up there, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm glad you got 360 no scoped in the back of the head. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was a scope. There was a fucking scope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you actually. Quick scope. Let me look at Bianca. I don't know if there is. So now. I think quick there is. So now um, I take it Orla. Oh, no, there is. Oh, wow. So I take it now Orla is going to be frantically going. <laughs> No, I'm not frantic. Nope, I'm not frantic about this. I'm I'm walking with purpose, uh, and I'm walking very, oh, but it's very. Just iron sights. It's um, not, mm. Wait, it's, okay, so it is very uh, smugly, and then I'm taking all of your best shit. Oh wait, but okay, I don't um, know. Some of them have cross, <laughs> an actual sight. Some of them have iron sights. I'll say it's an iron sight for this. I, I approach, I guess, you, and I'm like, God decided to favor your journey today. I'm still six feet in the air, so I slowly like. <laughs> I've got decided to favor your next to you now. <laughs> Good lord! I do not I, like I this forgot man. how big my head is. Okay, and I put the crossbow pack on my back. I apologize. Unfortunately, I am on about. That is, even though I don't really care for my father, and I'm not exactly sad he's dead. No, no, no. I just. I just had another epiphany, equal to the epiphany you gave me. If you say honor, you can do impulsive actions without caring about the consequence. Quite like a materialized... Honor is in something. itself a form of tamasic. Oh my god, candrasic. Uh, a swan note floats down, and uh, <laughs> it's a dismissive shrug like you're, you're on to something. <laughs> you're, you're getting closer. You're getting closer, buddy. Uh, kind of cool shit that I get off Maya's body. Okay, so we have... Uh, uh, here, I'll Actually, yeah, have Maya describe uh, the loots. You, know, you get a poisoner's kit, you get some <coughs> hyper venom. Behind venom. <laughs> behind your like, I hold well, on to that. These tools. I'll grab them, like, I do not like this guy. I don't care about the tools. Ten days heavy of armor. Don't care about the heavy armor. Uh, rapier. Don't care about the rapier. Uh, let's see what else I have. I'll take the rapier. Rope. I'm literally just I, like, I'm going through the pockets and everything I don't give a shit I about won't. is just getting chucked behind me. I want you to Dagger, know short bow, shield. That he was in a contract to assist us in something. I don't, I wasn't actually paying attention when we were discussing the details of it. And now that you've murdered him, you've unfortunately inherited that contract. I was already in contract to help. You, you were? Yes. By my family. What contract do we are work, you work about? What are you talking about? I was trying to him serious. to see if he would help us. Like I'm, I'm he's very good at it. I, we have gold. I think that he will help oh, us I, kill people. I can't remember right Yeah, but well, well, he might ask for money. I'll talk to By the way, poisoner's kit, thieves' tools, all kind of shit back there. I have thieves' tools. The poisoner's kit is yours. I'll take the rapier. There's a coke opium poison. And oh, bam! My good in, stuff! It's in my pocket. Okay. And two doses of Can I have a sniff of it? It's been a while since I made it. Two doses of hydro poison. Bone dice set, insignia of rank, um, and one platinum. <laughs> uh, actually, I definitely yeah, I have the platinum. platinum. The platinum. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, a recipe for coke opium poison. <laughs> right. <laughs> will you will you DM me these? Yeah. Couple of those things. Let's I can actually I just drag and drop. Yeah, I say just yes, put them all in a that would be for the that coke would be opium cool. poison. <laughs> All right, who wants, so, who wants to go? I was talking to Ken. Oh. I, I mean, I'm just taking, like, the poisoner's kit because, uh... So, Eiffel, you want the yeah, maybe I'll poison? I just want to take a whiff of my baby. I will, allow you, I will allow you a whiff. Do I take its effects immediately or no? No, not yet. Um, you get a little bit of uh, a little contact high. It kind of wakes you up a little bit like a smelling salt. Uh, who wanted the hydro poison? Me. I'm taking all the poisons um, and the platinum. Those are the things that I am taking. Right, um, give yourself a platinum. A secret Did hidden that, desire of my character don't worry about is right to here. smell some burnt anthrophemes. Right, perfect. Yoink. Just so that I, I have. have and do you want the that thieves that tools or poisoner's kit? Huh? I didn't hear what you just said. A secret goal of my character is to someday buy some burnt aether fumes and just smell them. Okay. Who wanted the poisoner's kit and uh, thieves tools? Poisoner's kit for you. I already have these tools because of my. Uh, I'll take some of these tools unless um, Orla has already. Yep. Nope. All I wanted was the poisons. Yeah. But you don't want the poisoner's kit? No. Nope. Right, who uh, wants the thieves tools? I have people who make things for me. Is oh, there. You just apply the poison to your soul. Is there yes. any proper way to smack. bury someone in the Alfurian religion? Um, but they're you, not Alfurian. They're Valdukian. Yeah, but I don't care. 
There's only one real god, it's my god. And I might as well honor them. You, bought, you the bring way. them and you float them down a river. Okay, so I start wrapping up the dead body and taking it with us. And I'm gonna like violently object and tell you like we're you know putting them in the earth so that they can. <laughs> no, sorry, you throw this random person. You All do right. whatever you want. We get into an argument. My mission I guess. is now complete. D twenty well, off. That whoever rolled higher. Sure. Oh, by the way, 15. Dylan, your character sheet. Six. I'm not convinced. What's up? Your character sheet is set to three, not four. So just make sure to set that later. I need to set the level. Oh, okay. Three, level yeah, you should go. Yeah, because I have 42 hit points. Let me. I will do it for you really quick. All right. Um, we have Maya's mind. We have our new compatriots, and you are honestly about an hour away from Dakma. Are we going to proceed to Dakma and finally get the MacGuffin that we've been waiting Before for? Before that, I dump the body in the river. You put the body in the river, you tie their hands, bind them, and float them down, buttering off some Alfurian phrases to guide them on their journey to the underworld. And they float down the river, and in the distance you see a waterfall. <laughs> and you're like, oh, bother. <laughs> it's a bad omen. They fall off the waterfall onto the rocks, and their body is gone. Well, then. I'm going to look at you, like, really disappointed. Me? No, no, no this guy. Oh. <laughs> this entire is no way to treat the dead. You peep over the waterfall and the body fell onto the sandbank at the bottom of the waterfall and is now technically buried and you're like... <sighs> God knows what's up. God works I feel, I feel like we're going to have a lot of theological disagreements. I feel like Over what I assume is the same God. <laughs> I, I, do you worship like the same... Like, it's God? radically what different. It's very different. Yeah. Very different. Mine's a dude who's literally a dictator who right. says he's a God. Yours is probably a God. That was not said in character. No. No. Okay. Uh, I thank you for that. So, yes. I didn't have to do it myself. Why did you need to kill them? She almost killed me. Oh. Yeah, actually, they were going to steal this cool flying ship, and they were like, I have honor. And then they beat our ass pretty bad. Hmm. No, no. Mm, she got was... one really good hit and ah, I almost died. That's I... exactly what happened. They quit okay. her on a fucking sneak attack. <laughs> and I, I, I went down to I two mean, hit points. I, I remember looking pretty impressive. <laughs> but... You've never looked impressive in your life. That's fair. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the time you just, you just get used to that. The only yeah. thing of impressive size on his body is his head. Yes, and that's not even natural. That's, that's augmentation. It's a I'm curse. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Would it be better if my head was naturally massive? It might. <laughs> At least, like, you know, we know that God if has actually cursed Every you. person who's met me since you guys will assume I'm a freak of fucking nature. And you guys are like, oh, he's not natural. He got head augmentation <laughs> surgery. <laughs> fucking dumb bitches. <laughs> I swear to God. All right, so are we going to continue on? To the MacGuffin. Are we going to continue? To the MacGuffin. To the MacGuffin. Yes, to the MacGuffin. We are finally going to get the MacGuffin. All of that. All of that happened on the road. Entire car. We're just walking in the carriage. Other people coming by are like, "Carriage, carriage is still on." Oh yeah. We're in the carriage. 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 It's courage. We're in the carriage. Courage the carriage. Courage the carriage. You know what it is called? It's very large and red. It, it is. It's a bright, bright red carriage called what? Carriage. What? It's wrong dog. Did not work. Yeah, yeah, it was like, that was incorrect. It's purple. He's, yeah. So. Haunted by a computer. Right? Clifford the red dog. Courage. Courage is purple. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking Clifford. Now I've, I've, my yeah, gotcha. brain, like, All right, let's, uh, let's, see it, let's sink it back. Um, you are approaching Dakma. It's the westernmost Kaleem city. Yes. Kaleem cities are generally buried deep underground underneath the mountains. Dakma is the one outlier. Uh, the University of Worms itself sits upon a large basin, basin, a kind of strange alcove on the side of the mountain with a lake that receives ample sunlight. Um, you can notice that as you are climbing the Great Mountain Pass up to the entrance to the University of Worms, you can see the sigil of the University of Worms. It's several worms coiled about a, bo a book, kind of consuming one another in an endless cycle. Um, you'll eventually arrive at the front gate. I would like to change into my fine clothes before we arrive. Sure. There's actually a small little booth nearby that is customarily put up so that people can change and prepare themselves before entering the university. There's a drag for press digitation. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. You approach the front gates, and the guards look at, look at Nabu, give you kind of a faint little scowl, but then kind of like, oh, no, I'm a professional. Correct my prejudice at the door. Um, then they look at Miro, they look at Orla, and then they look at Eiffel and go, before they say anything, I can see they're going to say something dumb, and so I'm just going to cut them off of the pass, be like, I've come here to learn. <laughs> you know when the guy goes, that seems to be one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guard in front of you goes, perhaps you would like to see the infirmary, sir? You could perhaps take care of that for a customary price, perhaps less, because I believe you need it. Are you making fun of your institution? No, I'm saying that we occasionally provide cheaper services to those in desperate need. In de I'm in desperate need of more education to fill my skull! Also, tell me where the infirmary is. <laughs> <laughs> it is inside. Um, I believe... Shh. Whisper. We all know you're going to the infirmary. Shut the Fuck up, murderer! Swear to the back of the head. Speak with respect. I, I, I take the hit. I'll go to the it, infirmary. It'd be hard to, to miss. Um, as you enter into the building, you see four figures standing inside of the alcove, and they each extend out a hand. Um, there is one wearing robes of fine spider silk. Um, you cannot see what they look like. Um, they are ornamented with alchemical formulas, treatises, and various dates. Um, they are extending out their hand in the direction of Orla. Do you take their hand? I will, yeah. Okay. Is this like a handshake? No, it's, they seem to be wishing to take you elsewhere. Um, if you wish to roll inside, you are welcome to. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I will give them, I'll give the, the one the sign. Oh, what is that? Huh? Nah. nah. That is a three. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm not going to take their hand, but I will follow them. They look at you, <laughs> and you can't intuit their facial expressions or their body language because they're just draped head to toe in this spider silk outfit. So the only thing you can tell are their eyes, which are a faint blue. Now, Miro. Yes. Um, Actually, my mistake. I misread the Orla and Myra section. Orla, your person is wearing spider silk, but you could tell their face. However, they were stone cold and seemed to not change their expression at all when you rebuked their hand and simply gestured, come. Now, for Miro, yes. um, your person, whose race and gender is inscrutable to you, is head to toe in a tight leather outfit with rubber and other materials giving it a tight seal. Their eyes, through glasses and a tight mask, are the only discernible feature. Um, right. They'll trace their fingers through the air, seemingly pantomiming something, as they then extend out their hand. Your MacGuffin is a magic gift. Let's say, time out. <laughs> I would be able to tell if they're Volduke because of Volduke legs. That's true. They are not. Okay. He's gonna kind of like look at them, and then pull out his insignia and just kind of stare at them, like his family signet ring, basically. The guy looks at you, and you can see their eyes kind of widen a little. They give you a faint little bow. And then they extend out their hands in a kind of do you mind motion. <laughs> and he'll follow. All right, perfect. Now, Eiffel. I've been pissing too frequently. <laughs> <laughs> is it the head thing? <laughs> yes. Um, you Before you is a tall, clean man, gaunt, wearing plain armor without a, he uh, without a helmet. He seems weary with age. His eyes are sunken into his face, and his hair is foul and matted. Um, despite the appearances, you can tell that there's a kind of stalwartness to him. He looks at you and extends out his hand. I'm not doing a prostate exam. He looks at you, puts his hand up to his face, <laughs> mutters something to himself in Koim, and then extends out his hand again. Um, he wishes to get the, um, you can roll insight with advantage if you wish. Jesus. There we go. There's that. Four. I don't have any D20s. People have stolen. Oh, here it is. This is that great, but 15. You intuit that he seems to want the Tontine item that you had on you. Um, I believe I asked you a million years ago what it was. Um, it's essentially the item that was given to you in order to come here and access the Tontine. Um, I believe for Nero here, it is 
a small little gem. Mm -hmm. um, for Orla, it was a key. My uncle's signet ring. Signet ring. And Nabu, what was yours again? Oh, uh, like some sort of like scarf thing. You have a scarf. Um, and then for you, what was yours? Uh, I'm gonna just make it be weird. It's a deck of trick playing cards. <laughs> uh, and yeah. like, if you fold them a certain way, they change so they all have like um, a holy symbol on them. So yeah. like, you can like flip it, and it's all holy symbols. Uh, you give it a flourish, and the man extends out his hand. Do you plop the deck in his hand? Yeah, I guess. All right, and then he extends out his other hand, which is for you to take his hand. So the head, you're not going to do anything about this. This was a lie? You'll go to the infirmary later. Oh my god. <laughs> the man doesn't say anything to you, but he I looks at you it. like, in due course that will be handled, but he says nothing to you. I, t I, take, I take his hand. Uh, god, I, I just whisper God wills it, I take it. Um, as you are being taken away, Eiffel. Um, actually, we'll, we'll let's go to Nabu quick. Um, Nabu. Your person is a queen woman. Her skin is eerily pale, showing the pulsing and throbbing of her blood. Her hair is jet black, as is customary, but luxuriously braided with threads of fine gold interspersed between it. Uh, she is draped in jewels and fine silks. Um, despite all the other persons here who are making contact and awaiting you, she, however, is reading a book and definitely ignoring you. Um, do you wish to read what the book says? Um, it is a book in patois, so you can just read it. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, um, it says practical approaches to polymorphing. Uh, she is intently reading it from line to line very quickly, going through a page, it seems, every two or three seconds. I will proceed to wait in front of, like, I'll, like, proceed to wait until she's done. You see her eventually go through the last remaining ten pages. She takes a deep breath, clutches the book, looks at you, and extends out her hand. Well, I guess just put the, like, make the symbol... Um, see if they do anything. All right, perfect. They take your scarf, your little uh, vestment, and they extend out their hands. You take their hand. Sure. Okay, perfect. All right, now we're going to roll from the top here. Um, all right, then. Or what? Um, you are taken, um, and you notice that their hands are covered by thin coral bands of various metals, copper, mithril, adamantine, gold. And they take you through eventual winding gates, long corridors, and eventually you eventually arrive at a long gate made of long obsidian pillars. It opens from the bottom, and they lift it up, and you see that it is dark and deep, and it enters into the depths, and then kind of politely gesture, if you do not mind. How much, out of game, what, how much information did that letter from my uncle say? Was it just a letter, or was it just the ring? It was just the ring. It was just the ring. Okay, so that signature, that all I know is he's dead. Yeah, and the ring, uh, okay. the letter, all of your letters are relatively same, and it told you that you would be taken there and you would undergo a trial, and from there you would be given access to the inner sanctum, in which the fifth would tell you the remainder. Okay, but I don't have to present him with my ring. I don't, uh, have, to, I don't he, have to give him the item. When he extended his hand out earlier, he wished for you to give it to him, but you did not. No. Uh, at present. Um, he is gesturing, and his hands are closed, and okay. it is not necessary. Now. All right, so I've I've figured I've figured out this is the trial I have to go through, and I will step through. You enter through, and you suddenly find yourself inside a brightly lit stone room with no entrances or exits. Um, before you are various placards written in Ladaith, um, which is Welsh, so I'm not going to bother pronouncing that. Um, <laughs> there are five items in this room: a spade, a sword, a shield. A scroll and a shawl. Are you familiar with what a shawl is? Yes. Okay, perfect. I knew you. I knew you would know, so that's why I put it in here. It's the worst sounding instrument in the <laughs> history <laughs> of Western music. It is very bad. Um, I'm going to put it here in general chat so everyone else can peep it. Um, there is text in the data above it which says, "Which of these makes one fit to rule?" And you can see that each one is on its own little pedestal. And it seems to me that you have to select which one makes you fit. I'm taking the sword immediately. Okay, you take the sword, you take the sword, you disappear, and you suddenly find oh, yourself. Horrible thing in brain fingers. You suddenly find yourself. Yeah, it's a precursor to the oboe. Hmm. It's terrible. Which is itself emotionally awful. <laughs> when played really, really well, it's one of the most beautiful sounds in, in music, but really hard to play it really really well it sounds like garbage what is the name of the instrument I'm, I'm talking about the oboe but 
the precursor to the oboe is the shawms, which is what is on the pedestal. Okay. It's strangely enough, got to have the map glitch, which is very agitating. All right, Kurt, so you are now there. Well, because well, you have successfully passed your Real quick, I'm going to head out, because I'm running on about four hours of sleep, and I've got a first hour more. Yeah, yes. definitely. Let me pause the recording real quick. All right, we are back into it. Orla has just passed their sacred test. Miro, it is your turn. Um, The person in the tight leather outfit, do not make any comments, uh, takes you slowly down a hallway until eventually you are at a large door made of silver. There is a small indentation, the size of a minute gem, lies at the center of the door. Through the visor, they stare at you. I don't have that yet. We were supposed to get that to me. Oh, um, I... He's dead. It was supposed to be included in the letter that you received. Oh, I just didn't know what it was. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, go ahead and you can pop that in there if you wish. All right. He'll take the gem out and click. The door opens. Do you enter? Uh, yes, but I bring the gem with me. Yeah, of course, you're welcome to the So, you enter into the hallway, and the hallway is filled with a green haze, clearly poisonous. Do you continue forward? Yeah, I'll just pull up my mask and, and just walk through. Perfect. You enter through the haze and you are unaffected. As you emerge beyond its green confines, you suddenly find yourself surrounded by flames at all sides. Before you is a small table with various tokens of esteem from your deeds over the course of your life. In the distance, a single doorway. You know that you do not have time to dawdle. You can only take one item before you have to depart down the hallway and through the door to safety. Which item do you take, and what does it represent? What items are there? Um, it, it's uh, it, it's open to your interpretation. Like, what would be something in this moment of crisis that, if you were pressed against the wall, you would take, and it alone? I mean, I already have my crossbow in the back. Uh, <laughs> hmm. hmm. You, you said you, how many are there? Um, as many as you would see fit. Um, the crossbow actually can be there. If that's like your most treasured item, then yeah, it could be the crossbow. <laughs> what, did they take our, like, gear before we went in or something? Uh, it's more like, uh, you kind of reach the conclusion that you are in some kind of illusory space. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, if the crossbow's there, that's immediately what he grabs, and then he just bolts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I've never seen a two-handed barbarian. Alright, Eiffel. Oh, a dual wield barbarian? Yeah. It's not as effective. I think it is more because you're multiplying the rage damage if you hit. Mm. Yeah, Eiffel. but. Um, What's going on? I'm Eiffel. <laughs> Eiffel, um, you are taken down through a hallway, and before you is a staircase bathed in dapple light. What do you do? Um. I blink. Is it still dappled? Yes. I blink again. It's still dappled. <laughs> Have I seen this before? Uh, you can tell that it's um, it's a kind of staircase that appears in certain Alfarian visions, re- representing an ascent to divinity. Do you feel uh, the I, I pop the fantasy equivalent of a Percocet. Okay. And I go upstairs. You enter through the dapple light, and passing through it, ascending to the top of the staircase, you find yourself in a reliquary. Before you, I are three artifacts. A flagon made of polished silver with a moonstone handle. Hot. A flagon made of obsidian hot. with an emerald handle. Hot fucking hot. And a flagon carved from wood with an ivory handle. Which one do you take? You can only take one. Oh, God. Uh, man. Um. If only I had a way to roll a single die and calculate specifically one of three options. You have d6 and d12s. Uh, like exactly perfectly though. Just it's a die that can determine. Who wishes one of three to roll chances. a d3 here? Oh, th- like this d3 I have? You have no a d3. Roll it. 
That's what so cool. The hell? Oh, wait, wait. What's a one, what's a two, what's a three? Oh, it's the ivory handle. The one, okay. the two, and the three. Oh, okay. One, two, three. You grab the flagon carved from wood with an ivory handle. And then you appear at the university, where you also see Orla and Nero. I Has his it. sword disappeared? Yeah. Shove it into my accoutrement of shit. Actually, uh, no, the sword is still on your person, Orla. What, As what kind of sword is it? Um, it it's is a... Sword. What kind of sword do you think you would think of when Orla thinks of a sword? A great sword. Right, it is a great sword. It's Preferably one that doesn't shout an ad every time I kill <laughs> an enemy. It's a tag by Raid Shadow Lance. Oh, I like... Did I tell you about that? That's amazing. It hasn't become much of a thing because we keep forgetting to do it, but every time I kill something with this sword, there's a chance that it just shouts out an ad for Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> no, like, this is like this is a uh, contractual sponsorship. It transfers to whatever weapon. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> we're no, 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 we're all cursed. You are permanently Do not cursed. give me that curse. Like that. With ads. The whole so, point was I was desperate and had to buy a sword. Um. <laughs> That's Can I get a sponsorship for my kills? Maybe we'll talk about it. <laughs> I need to pay off a debt somehow. So, Nabu, um, you are taken into a room where the woman with the eerily pale skin gestures at a corner. But there is an uncomfortable looking stool. Do you sit in the stool? Mm, yes. Okay. She'll kind of look at you and then gesture. And kind of intuit that she seems to be asking you wordlessly, who are you? I am the boo. Hmm. What are you? She seems to say with her eyes. I am the boo? I am Groot! She looks at you, yeah. takes a deep sigh, and then before you, in front of the stool, sure. appears a large chasm. It's depths deep, it's depths dark. She seems to be gesturing to jump in. What do you do? I mean, like, she responded with a sign, right? Huh? Like, she responded to, like, the sign that I originally showed her, right? Or no? Uh, what sign was that again? It was, like, just a like, short, like, kind of, like, religious sign thing. She looked at you and kind of gave you a faint smirk when you did that. Okay, so then, yes, I will jump in there. All right, perfect. You jump through the hole, and you find yourself in a large, kind of open-air altar fine marble, and before you are water, fire, uh, soil, and what seems to be, cool. to your recollection, almost like a breeze. Which one do you pick? Uh, do I still have like, this dirt on me? Yes. Can I like put the dirt on the dirt and just yeah. like, like do that, just pick that? You put the dirt down, and the pillar before it turns from marble and turns from a pale white marble into a shimmering gold before bathing you in light, a light that you have not felt in some time, a divine radiance. And then you find yourself in front of the library with everyone else. Okay, uh, we are now here at this scene. Uh, before you, you see a, la a tall, clean man approach you, clad in wizard's robes. He gives you a faint bow. He says, greetings, I am Professor East Cotton. I see that you have found your letters and arrived. Hmm. Yes. I imagine you have many questions. And he's like, Miro's just tw like twirling the gem in his fingers. I think I already have an answer, but yes, I do. I don't know about the rest of us. You may ask me whatever you see fit and I shall answer appropriately. What did you bring us here for? You were brought here. Where is my uncle? Your uncle has passed, Orla. I am sorry. And you are here because your uncle imparted upon you a thing that we have all been guarding. Myself, your uncle, assorted others, kin, kid. All manner of persons close to your heart. And they have brought you here because you must guard a secret. A loathsome thing that we have shepherded for millennia. A thing that we must corral, that we must herd, that we must shear from the minds of mortals so that they are not tempted into a darkness so deep that none can escape. Are there any further questions? 
or do you wish to proceed? With this knowing? is what I think it is, isn't it? What do you think it is? My father's gem. He had a wisdom. And you will learn the wisdom that is imparted within that gem. It can be unlocked here. Yes, I think. I Is literally don't know why I'm here. <laughs> ah! Of course you don't. The Alfurians are always confused when they show up here. Your god sent you here? Oh, there's no sky, so there's normally a note that informs me if I'm doing his <laughs> will or not. And there's no, like, skylight. Um, hold on a second. Can you turn around? He likes to do this. Um, you turn around, and there's a note taped to your back. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't see anything. I, I pull it off. He always does this. Yeah. Um, it says, be present. Tell me what to do. You're <laughs> just my God. <laughs> I begin to get up and then I just sit down. Usually the Alfurians have difficulty adjusting. I don't know why their representatives are chosen at random, <laughs> but he chooses them and he sends them here. Perfect. And he likes to tell them nothing. And they're usually cut from a different cloth. I believe you know what I mean, correct, Eiffel? I, I am the cloth it. that the builder refused. For good reason. Thank you for not continuing that quote. God. It's also wrong. <laughs> I know it's wrong. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> now, <laughs> I take it you wish to know anything else? I imagine you must be curious. It's been a long journey here. Can I, I fix the head? <laughs> One moment. <laughs> he looks. He opens his jacket. And Maybe if I punch him really hard. That's my shrink it. I'd like to see. He, gra he actually says, "Orla, can I have your fist, please?" Just tell me what to do. Put this balm on your hand and just conk him in the occipital lobe firmly, but not too strongly. And so you're telling me to donkey punch him? Is that what you're saying? That's that's what we call it in my. You know, farming. Well, we, we call it um, our, our, uh, our society centered around the animal uh, husbandry. A snail sock here, but yes. Yeah, snail so you, sock? You may, you may refer to it as a donkey. I'm unfamiliar with this creature, but you may do so. I do the thing. I do the thing. You anoint your uh, face. Uh, I try to explain that I have to be pegged before I can be donkey punched, <laughs> but before I get it out, I am donkey punched. Uh, your head <laughs> returns to normal. Um, and the oversized migraine you had from being punched in the back of the head is now just a modest little headache. You're welcome. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, this group gets weirder and weirder. The Alfurians always have the worst time adjusting. Now, if you wish, we may continue to the machine, and I will show you why you are here. Lead on, Scholar. Doesn't sound suspicious or anything. All right. You may follow me. He gestures you into the building. You meander your way through the corridors that is fair. until you eventually arrive at the machine. Before you is a portal, weary with age. It glows when you draw near. He looks at the lot of you and says, the items that came with your letters, you must place them between the pillars. You took mine. Hmm? But you took mine. The flag? No. You still have a flag on the Oh, I thought you meant the cards. No, the cards, yeah. I'll forget it. I forgot one moment. Um, you notice that the cards are actually back in your hand. All your items are back in your hand. And you have to lay them before the portal, and you will learn of the secrets within it. Now, before we proceed, is there anything else that you wish to know? Did she actually kill him? Maya? Yes. Yes. Good, I don't feel as bad now. Guilt is a thing of the past. <laughs> Do not let it weigh you down. Now, place your items before here. And when you finish, stand up straight and take a very deep breath and close your eyes very tightly. I do the thing. You do it all, 
Uh, congratulations. Um, you all now have access to your Eldritch Invocation of your choice with no prerequisites. As you feel the Eldritch Machine begin to churn as your items are brought within it. And you said with no prerequisites? Um, no, as like in, the ones you that pick the ones that have no prerequisites. Oh, okay. So, for instance, okay. you can't pick... Got it. No, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. And it includes the ones that are in the book. Yeah, All right. no, no, mine sticks. Now, what you feel from the machine is an understanding of the dreadful secret that is housed within it. Undeath. You understand the machinations of mice, witches, vampires, zombies, ghouls, ghosts. Even the strange things druids do when they reincarnate themselves in an endless cycle and stay eternal forever. All the manners by which a person can avoid the final arbiter, death, are instilled within this machine. And you know of it, and you also know that it is forbidden for you to access it. You were brought here, and the machine also gives you the understanding of the task at hand. You labor here to handle the things, the deadly things, that normal society cannot handle. Similar to how if you were to say, keep putting out a forest fire so often that they never occurred. You'd be setting yourself up for a blaze far greater when it does go wrong. And that's what happens here. The states, the races, the nations, the, the cities, the gods, they can handle the lesser things, the cults run amok, the things here and there. But what happens here is you handle the long con, the peerless creature brooding in the depth of night for centuries, waiting for the exact to strike. And that is what is done here. You feel this wisdom course through you. You feel this understanding pour into your being. And you are yet again in the room with the machine. Professor Eats Cottle has his hands upon your shoulders, patting you and saying, I understand. It's tough. I remember my first time too. Did we get a flash of who created this pact originally? You, Just what this is. You got an understanding of its first usage. Um, the machine kind of imparted to you a kind of peerlessness to it, almost like it's always been here. And you see Professor Itzcato come towards you and say, I understand that it tries to give you the beginning and the end, but this thing has no beginning and end. When my people came here in ages past to escape the great demon bird that sought to pluck our souls from our bodies, defeat its dreadmaster. This thing was already here. We don't know why it is the way it is, but it has this knowledge within it and seeks out persons who can defend it. Normally, they are queen. There's normally only five of us. I am what they call the fifth. I stay here. I watch the grounds, I cater to the machine, <clears throat> I cater to the needs of you when you're out in the field. What happens if you die? I am replaced by another fifth. And so on and so on. If you die, you will be replaced. It doesn't matter. Sounds, cycle. Sounds like me at a bar. I suppose, but these are not mere shots. So this is, this is literally, this is the secret to true undeath versus Zombification and witches and all those other things. This machine. True immortality. This machine houses the secrets of, I suppose, some long forgotten divine. And perhaps this is the apparatus by which it brought it to its lesser peers, the demigods, its servants, in ages past. And that lord, whatever its name was in times past, was slain by the other gods. And this is all that is left of it. And its wisdom is on death. Our people, there's a theory, I am one of the kind, that in ages past, when we bound ourselves to its wall and gave our bodies to them so that they can embody our wisdom forever, I believe we got that idea from this machine. But I would not say that aloud. Some of the elders do not like such things. But they understand that we are a necessity here. Could you imagine if, say, a warlord could never be killed, his body would regenerate? He would live forever. He would be tyranny, peerless tyranny. Yes, Eiffel. You don't need to raise your hand. You just ask questions, Eiffel. Don't listen to him. But that's you literally my government. You don't have to raise your hand. That's literally my government. 
That's like literally my government, though. <laughs> we stop. Oh, actually, you're the, okay. Um, when you said that the guy was like the guy, your god is he guy's literally a god. It's literally a god. Like an Aaron's god, whose domain had been shattered, found the remnants of your people and pressed. Okay, them. I thought that was him telling us what he did. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That's actually a god. Like. But I'm just saying that what's. Okay, Eiffel is a little iconoclastic at this moment and confused. It is strange, but our mission here is to stop mortals from ascending to godhood. The gods police themselves. God. <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> As he winks. I understand it is a lot to take in. Unfortunately, things have fallen in hard times around here. We used to have great contacts when the nations were young, when conflicts were young. And now those have deteriorated. It takes time to dig up information. Those that have managed to skirt our gaze are peerless intellects. They are great at hiding. Some of them are foolish. Some people stumble upon this information in a way that can only be described as, you know, idiotic savantry, as he stares at you. Uh, <laughs> There have been times where an errant orphan digs into a sewer in some long forgotten a siege stronghold and finds a book of necromancy that has not been seen for a thousand years and inadvertently turns himself into a creature of undeath, unwillingly sapping the sucre from others. We have to go in and drive a dagger into its heart and burn its body to ashes. Bury it in the ground so it can achieve its final rest. Yes, that as well. Right. Same shit, different day. So basically, you're just going to give us targets, we're going to kill them, and then rinse and repeat. It's no different than my previous life. It's a bit tougher than that. The machine used to seek out and understand where knowledge would come into being. You could almost sense a kind of milieu of thought coalescing into, you know, a river meandering through the land eventually forms banks upon its middle. We would understand when knowledge starts to accumulate in such a way that it alters the river. But the machine has gone in laggardly and slovenly as time has gone on and it becomes less and less accurate. We now have to do things manually as he gestures to like a large wall and there's like maps and charts and contacts and spy rings. Why not just destroy the machine entirely? If it contains the knowledge, why not just delete? It's... Is that a word? Delete? Is that a word? Delete? Eliminate? In character, I uh, from Latin. That it word works. was invented after. The <laughs> it, it's a it's a word, man. To eradicate. It does not beget the knowledge. It reacts to the knowledge. Unfortunately, uh, I wish that we could destroy this thing and rid it forever, but it seems to resonate with those thoughts. As long as they exist, the machine exists. Theoretically, we could do such a thing as we could rid the thought of living forever from every mortal mind, and the machine would fall in there. Except it's done its job. We couldn't. Unless we killed ourselves as well. Okay. That is true. Uh, Latin, uh, delier, or delire, however mm -hmm. you pronounce in Latin, to blot out. Huh, I yeah. like that. We wish we could simply destroy the machine, but unfortunately it. And it actually explains like why it's gotten like weaker over time. It's because, you know, as we've been, as knowledge has been destroyed, like its connection to it has gotten weaker and weaker and it's got less to work on. So. You're correct, Napa. We believe. Here no, no, that was out of character. I'm <laughs> not smart enough to say that. I'm going to rewrite. We believe here at the Academy that the structures of states have managed to clamp down on knowledge. Mm -hmm. Censorship has actually been a boon for society, but not for us. It has made our task more supple. It takes a longer time for the grains to accumulate into a sand bank that blocks the river of knowledge that requires us to intervene. We have to be more in the forefront on these things. It takes longer. We have to pay more meticulous attention to things. The machine is less reliable. There's less to rely upon. I understand it's a difficult task, but it's something that your forebears thought that you would be deserving of and understanding of and capable of doing. And I beseech you that you should honor this task that's fallen upon you. Although I believe some of you, pointing to Eiffel, have no say in the matter. And I welcome you to our cadre. Now, I have complete control over the indecisions of my life. <laughs> See the guy go. 
rub his head. You see him open his pocket and pop like a pill into his mouth and go, all right. I've never liked the Alfarians. Now, <laughs> I think that's fair. They always sent drunks. I don't know why he loves sending drunks. The previous guy, and you can see in the corner, there's like, like it looks like a, a, a large stack of uh, casks of brandy. Always left his booze around. Now, <laughs> one of them open. It's extremely ancient brandy. It is beautiful. It is breathtaking. It is an amber color. You are almost taken aback by its precision. Now. Right now, I can tell you, as having been the fit for some time, it's been a few years, it takes a while for the processes and the motions to occur. I have been watching the machine, and I am sensing that the grains are starting to accumulate into something. I don't believe it's going to happen soon, but I'm getting the sensation that we are going to have to start digging outwards. I can tell you one thing. It seems that wherever this next adulteration is coming, it is coming from Marzaki and Terry. The machine knows that much. Secession crisis, maybe. Perhaps the state may be brewing towards civil war and someone might move to cachet of secret intelligence from some dossier buried deep in a mountain. I don't know. But the machine tells me that we should focus our attention on our Zakians. Now, um, we have a few contacts left in the territory. Um, and I believe we should spend the next few weeks analyzing the contact we have and preparing for reconnaissance there so that we can figure out what is going on this? Does that make sense? Mm. All right, I will leave Blink as I look across the room. I will leave Blinking. Now, the rest of you, perhaps more forward <laughs> in your thinking, would you have anything to comment on? The so we need to travel to, is it Mazaki? Is that the name? Marzaki of the territory. Um, oh, God. Uh, Jab Jabal and Noor, that's what I named their territory. Um, I'll post like a little ditty and whatnot about it once before. Um, now, a little bit in character, is there anything else that you need to know before we retire? You're welcome to avail yourselves of the mansion and stay within this. It's a bit of a bubble. It's largely insulated. It's somewhere between a plane or a demi plane or a material plane. It's How much of the university knows about this place? No one knows. We operate from a direct mandate from the worm leaders in the Central Academy, the guild masters. And only the worms know, and the speakers. The university does not know we are here. While you are here, you are going to be professors. And then he goes, unfortunately, adjunct. My powers only go so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. OK, so do we have to teach classes? <laughs> I, I had heard rumors while I was drinking many weeks ago before I went on this quest. Yes. Which I guess turned out to be a quest. I didn't know it was a quest at the time. Um, to get to this college, that there was like a secret society of people who ruled the world, and they had drunken, crazy parties. You guys aren't that society, are you? No, we are not. Um, oh, okay. Next so, one's down the corridor. Huh? Next one's down the corridor. Oh, it's down the right. It's down the hallway on the right. Um, third door from the right. Actually, um, you have uh, a dimension door in a specific spot thinking about the kind of booze you want to drink. It has to be a very specific kind of brandy portal that does not exist in 272 years. <laughs> <laughs> can't That's the password. Um, I'm actually, um, I never thought of that. And it's a very clever, and I'm actually already preparing to write that for the next session. If you want to do frat boy reconnaissance, which will involve getting really drunk and trying to memorize texts, which is going to be great. Um, Thanks to you. Bam. Let's do this. Keen mind, go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, to kind of reiterate here uh, a little bit uh, out of character, um, it's going to be a lot of research and stuff. Um, we only meet every two weeks, which means during that two weeks, I'm going to try to give you canonically two weeks of downtime. You just tell me, hey, I want to roll to do X, Y, and Z, then I tell you what you come up with. And then I think a week beforehand, or maybe a week beforehand, so like uh, next Sunday, I want the plan kind of hammered out, like what the hell we're doing. Then I write it out, and then we basically just do... Um, weird reconnaissance missions, like you have to go undercover at some random bake sale because some moron fucking dug up a random book and thought it'd be cool to give as a prize to whoever wins the best pie, but it turns out the book is like a part of an ancient necromantic text and they're baffled how the hell this guy found this and we need to take 
Twitch oh. that for let me show. The tone is like very close to literally Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You're right. Uh, I watched a lot of Buffy when I came up with this idea, and you're gonna see it. Uh, I mean, I was thinking like you know like they they, they used the um, right, like uh, Comic Con to thank like, you all for listening. Cookies. Let me just close out the recording. We'll see everyone back in two weeks.